I meant to start this at 8.30, but, uh, well, got to it as soon as I could. So uh, let me know if you guys can see me and all that good stuff, and then I'll get started here. If we have anyone around. Nice. Thanks, Bruno. Everything's looking good. All right. So today I'm going to be showing, I, I'm going to try to do like a, a little spattering of like several exploits that I've kind of figured out within like the last few weeks. Uh, some of them were discovered from doing the Democratic Luxembourg challenge. And so we've definitely learned a lot of things from that. And one of them, well, I mean, I think probably there's like three exploits that I've learned specifically from that challenge. And then there was another one that I was, that I kind of figured out just from playing a little bit of Tanutuva. I was trying to use some of the exploits from that challenge and then I learned even more. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so if any of you saw like the Democratic Luxembourg challenge, uh, it's, it's basically to do the hardest challenge in the game of surviving as just democratic Luxembourg with only 8,000 manpower. And so the, the lessons that I've learned from that will definitely help for a lot of other challenges as well. And then of course the exploits that we gain from those as well. Um, so today we're just going to be doing a little bit of Tanu Tuva and uh, we can leave Iron Man off since this is kind of a test. Uh, we're going to be figuring out what works. I had some ideas today of how to do this, and I think they'll work. I'm like 95% certain. Uh, <laughs> but of course, 95% certain isn't 100% certain. So there could be some hitches in this, but uh, I think we could probably show a lot of good stuff here. So let's get started. Communist Tanu Tuva. And, uh, of course, as always, uh, let me know if you have any questions and, uh, or, or if you have suggestions on what I could do or, or maybe how something could work better. Um, I, I mean, I, I know a lot about this game, but I don't know everything. Um, I'm surprised sometimes at how good the suggestions are from you guys. So feel free to tell me stuff, if I, especially if I'm forgetting something. All right, uh, basic machine tools, we'll just do that. I feel like the audio volume is really loud on this. I'm going to turn that down slightly. Okay. Um, we're just going to start with political effort because we, we're going to need some political power for what we're going to be doing. Uh, so the first thing we do, we're going to, let's see. I had some notes written down on this. All right, so we're going to justify on Sinkiang first. And then directly after that, we're going to do another justification. Excuse me. Um, I'm not actually entirely sure who that justification is going to be on. Uh, order 999. Yeah, order up. Um, I'm thinking possibly Britain. Or no, 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 no. I think uh, what we're going to actually do, we're actually going to do... So, so we'll do Sinkiang first, and th that will show the first exploit. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll just get to that first and go from there. Uh, what else do we even want here? I guess electronic engineering should be fine. Uh, we have like one sieve to do things with, so let's just build infrastructure. It's not really anything else we need to build and let's get going. Happy holiday. Uh, which holiday are you referring to? It's uh, Father's Day here in the U.S. Or almost Father's Day. I think tomorrow's Father's Day. 
I think you can afford SPG and Mac with with our one with our one mil. <laughs> we have one sieve and one mil right now. We can't afford too much. <laughs> oh, that's what I was gonna do. Instead of uh, electronic engineering, I was actually planning on getting this so we can switch to the better gun sooner. But it's fine. We'll just get this first. <laughs> Get that little 3% boost. Not too much is going to happen here for a while. Okay, so we got political effort. We're going to keep going down this tree. We actually need to get down all the way to ideological fanaticism, like, really quickly, as quickly as we can. So collectivist, collectivist ethos is next. And like I said, uh, we have enough political power now. We can do some stuff. So let's do our justification on Xinjiang. And then also United States. Doesn't really matter where. We're going to create a ton of tension with this regardless. And that's okay, though. So 365 days for that. That'll be all right. One full year just for that justification. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, Aom Sinzana. Good morning. It's Father's Day in Canada, too, tomorrow. Hopefully my daughter won't wake up at 5.30 in the morning again. Yeah, I, I hear that, man. I was actually... That's why I was late to this. Uh, my daughter was having trouble, like, just going to bed. She was freaking out, wanting, wanting us to stay with her. So... Well, it might be nighttime in the U.S. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, it's it's like... It's almost 9 p.m. here, where I'm at. All right, we're going to wait until we get 150 PP, then we can grab that silent workhorse. I uh, have JS, have people already asked what order 99 is? You'll find out soon enough. That's, uh, <laughs> it will be a part of this. It's actually uh, something that Pigeon coined. So uh, it was in one of my other streams. Um, we were talking about it because uh it's a little trick that we pull and it's basically a reverse uh so someone in the chat was like this is like a reverse order 66 so then pigeon was like oh um it's order 99 order 99 back backwards or reverse order 66 Uh, what else do we want here? We, we will need artillery and support equipment, all the good stuff, so I guess we'll just get that for now. Yeah, it's not, it's not like a total, um, it's, yeah, it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, it, it, it is a cool trick though, like, especially for what we're doing, like, it, it's kind of a cool trick. It's something you can do to, to ruin the AI's day, which is always fun. All right, Sinkiang. Communism failing. Oh, I do want to train this guy. It's it's not that important, but because we're not really gonna use him that much anyways. And our only unit is a four width, which is slightly better than what uh, the Luxembourgian unit starts with. They start with a two width, which is funny because they actually have less industry here and less population than, than Luxembourg does. Oh, I 
said I was going to do that. Completely forgot. There we go. Silent workhorse. And let's see how far justification is. Okay, so we're about 100 more days and we will be able to fight. If you can unite Turkestan, you will get great cavalry buff, national spirits. Yeah, they do get, what? what is it, 10% or something? 5%, 15%? Uh, I don't know how far we'll actually play with Tainutuva. We we probably can play a bit further and play around with it because uh, we should get fairly strong with what I'm planning on doing. Uh, but like I said, this is this is still sort of theory crafting. I'm just letting you guys see my process of theory crafting today. So you get a little sneak peek into what I usually do just by myself. Which is actually a lot easier to do by myself as well. Because <laughs> when you're not talking, it's a lot easier to think. But I was feeling in the mood. And it's kind of cool to see stuff like this. So, But I, actually, <laughs> sometimes while I'm at work, I, I just think about the game. I, I have a job where I'm able to do that. So uh, it's not like super brain intensive. So sometimes I just think about the game, like some possibilities. And uh, yeah, so I can figure out some good stuff that way. Might be harder than Luxembourg. I don't think it's harder than uh, Democratic Luxembourg. <clears throat> it, they do have some different challenges here, though. Like just the supply situation up in this region is absolutely awful. So... Like, like if you look where the supply hubs, there aren't that many. There's one way up here, one way over here. And then the railways, too, are just, like, level one railways. So, yeah, it's just, it's garbage. We can build some in our own nation, because we, we don't have, like, a, a single province. Um, at least our nation is slightly bigger than, than Luxembourg. All right, uh, let's do... Actually, we don't want to do improved work conditions. Normally, I would do that right now, but said we're going to do army maneuver expert. Let's do that. Um, but since we'll be doing a civil war, we're not going to actually improve our uh, stability. That would just be completely counterintuitive. Oh, you can build a railway connection to the Soviet Union. Ah, yeah, that's a good idea. I like that. Something like this. Something like this. Maybe, maybe even connect to Mongolia. Probably not a bad idea. Set those to go first. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, especially if, if we're planning on finding them eventually. Like, having that set up already, that's, that's a really good deal. And, I mean, with one civilian factory, <laughs> anyways, like, yeah, what else are we going to do except infrastructure? That's all we can really do. Political correctness is done. Oh, hey, Apoivra. Uh, I don't know what I want to do. I could do war economy. Um, it doesn't necessarily matter that much. Oh, yeah, good call. Get some free trains if you need to lower your stab. Easy way to get that. Oh, oh I might have I might have messed this up already. Because uh, we, I need to get the democracy guy like really soon. That's actually really important. Yeah, I messed this up. Okay, sorry guys. One restart. Hello, Josh Jolly. Good day, good night, actually for me, anyways. All right, we're restarting. Well, now now we got everybody in, anyways, so. It's a good time to restart, right? Okay, uh, once again. Needs a counter for the restarts. Yeah, seriously. I, I need to actually, there, there's so many things I need to do, but like, customizations i still need to learn a lot about twitch too because like yeah, it's it's kind of a confusing platform 
right. Um, wait, why? Okay, try that again. There we go. Go and do all of those. Do do do. Uh, no offense, but your f videos are perfect for sleeping. <laughs> like your voice is super calming, but the content you're making is super interesting. Well, I mean, uh, I'm glad it's interesting. Maybe, uh, <laughs> actually, so I heard someone saying that about uh, Bitter Steel's video today, and I was like, I mean, I don't really see that. I see it with like, um, there's one guy I watch. Uh, he's called Hovalax. Ho Hovalax. He's a British guy, and his voice is super like calm and soothing. And then uh, Torio uh, as well. Um, I find that rather uh, soothing. I mean, I don't, I don't think that was a rude comment. That's fine. I never really thought about like a bitter seal's voice being calming though. I don't know. To each their own. Yeah, um Sinzana like that's the thing when I, when I am able to like get home and finally do stuff, it's like, um, it's already 9 PM or, you know, eight 30 or 9 PM. It's like, okay, well, I, if I want to go to bed at a decent hour, it's like I have maybe two hours of time to do stuff. So a lot of times I just want to chill and play something. Um, yeah. Rather than like customizing my, uh, Twitch or other things. But I mean, there's always there's always stuff that you can do better. That's true. Yeah, not gonna lie. Any Hoi Four video tends to be pretty easy to chill to. Yeah, this is a slow paced game, especially like compared to uh, if you're comparing it to like a first per person shooter or something like that, where it's like always action packed. All right, uh, this time we're gonna do this differently. We are still gonna do both of our justifications first, right off the bat. <clears throat> but this time, once we get 150 political power, we're going to actually grab the, uh, rather than silent workhorse, we're going to get the democratic reformer. We need to get that quickly. Hello, Alex. Alex. Sorry, I can't talk. Need more water. Get this guy training. Um, are you much into World War II history? Of course. Yeah. I mean, I'm into a lot of history, but um, I think probably most people that play this game or any Paradox games in that, for that instance are typically well into history. Uh, there must be a balance between the voice comedy, uh, uh, how, how calm the voice is and how interesting the content is. Yours are full of tricky exploits or hardcore tries like One Kingdom, Four Crowns, or so on. I uh, respect it quite much. Oh, thank you. All right, we have 150 political power, so let's get our democratic reformer now. The reason I wanted that earlier is because we have a focus down here. There it is. Uh, once we get political commissars, we will have a change in popularity of communism of 20%. So basically, it's going to wipe out any democratic progress that we've made. 
So the sooner we can get that democratic reformer, the more we can build up some democracy support. And then we can actually, what we can do is we can actually start like the civil, uh, start, um, we'll hit prepare for the civil war. And then, uh, and to do that, you need 10% support of democratic. Uh, don't forget to ask Mongolia for guns. Yeah, I can do that. Um, any World War II YouTube channels that you follow, like Mark Mark Felton or World War II Day by Day? Um, let's see. I follow um, Tick. I like Tick a lot. Um, uh, Lindy Beige. Um, I'm trying to go through in my head like which channels I have on there. Um, Oh, we got a change in popularity of democracy, and we lose some stability. That's perfectly nice. Yeah, man, I listened to your Switzerland and Austria Hungary video on a walk, and it was very entertaining just listening. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. Sometimes uh, the the hardest part for me is like the video making process it's just like it, it's intense like trying to figure out exactly um what people are going to enjoy and like cutting massive chunks of the video um and yet still having it be like understandable that's like such a an issue with with making videos at least for me, I think some people have the knack for it a little bit more, but uh, for me, I, I, I kind of struggle with that. Like you don't want it to be too long and you want it to be entertaining throughout the whole video. And so, yeah, it's kind of, it's just a difficult thing. Indy Nadell, my beloved. I've actually never heard of that. <clears throat> how about czechia or estonia you mean like playing them i've actually uh i've got a thing that i need to do still uh, that i need to record that's estonia doing like actually two paths so um yeah it, one of the, one of my subscribers um and a guy that i chat with sometimes he he uh keeps encouraging me to do that <laughs> like when are you gonna get to that <laughs> He, he told me like uh, he's the one that told me how like that it was possible and then i figured out a way to do it um but you can actually you can as estonia you can actually unite the nordics and you can still do finno ugra so i i do want to get to that eventually all right how close are we let's see with like 80 days um oh he runs the world war ii in real time channel i'm i'm actually not sure about that one uh gonna form siberia uh i don't know i don't know how far we'll actually take this i mean i'm more just using tanatuva as like a catalyst to show some exploits and some ideas that i had um so we'll see how like actually far i do this i'm gonna go ahead well should i wait and get the silent workhorse or do this now I think, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just wait and get the silent workhorse. I wonder how much the casualties can be pushed to its limits. What do you mean as far as what? Okay, now we have a ton of political power. I sh I should have just actually taken that because we were getting a ton anyways. 
We'll take that now and we'll take the silent workhorse. Uh, no car marks, portrait today, correct. Yeah, no printing manpower. Well, uh, in a sense, we have something better. So uh, the, the Karl Marx painting is good, but 500 manpower is a lot less than, than what we'll be getting. So don't, don't worry. As long as everything works out, and it should. All right, 22 more days, or thir 32 more days. Uh, let's bring this guy over. I guess I'll put him like right here and then we can try to move in and take territory as fast as possible. Atlas Spider, how fast is it possible to win the Russian Civil War? Uh, I don't know now. They patched a few things. Um, back when I did it, it was easier than it is now from what I understand. I think there's a few people that made videos on it like more recently. Um, but I, I couldn't tell you exactly like what what they do and everything. I love making static defense template and bleed the Germans with small countries, but how much casualty can be caused at max? Oh man, the Germans can take a tremendous amount of casualties. Are we getting close to the juicy stuff? Uh, some uh, we're we're getting close to one right now. So, um, let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna declare war on Sinkiang and here we go we're gonna call in the Soviets but not Mongolia um yeah so there we go we'll call them in and then uh once they're called in then we can start scooting and moving through we do have the maneuver guy that does um yeah this guy division speed plus 10 percent that will help us move slightly faster it's still not going to be great though because our supplies are pure trash as you can see here there's like no hubs in the area the, the closest one is in tashkent or maybe up in tanutuva or, or right here in novosibirsk uh, so yeah it's it's a bad situation um all right let's let them get called in we're gonna move straight for the capital I wish they would update the generic focus tree, just tweak it a little bit. Oh no, it's it's actually a brilliant tree. I love it, <laughs> but uh, it's really good for exploits. That's why I like it. All right, let's let's move faster because yeah, look at how slow this is. There we go. All right, we're taking land. We're getting some points. Um, unfortunately now, um, so it used to be that Tanutuva could take all of Sinkiang because the Soviets had no interest in this land. Um, uh, but it, uh, they, they patched that so that the Soviets are actually interested now. They want all this stuff for themselves. So, um, we have to fight them a little bit over that. Uh, I guess we'll just, I don't know, maybe we should save some political power. Oh no, we're still going to get a ton. Yeah. All right. We'll spend. Sorry, I'm trying to follow all the chat. Uh, lol for real. Yeah. <laughs> Unexpected. Yeah. I mean, the basic tree is actually, uh, it's like it's crazy good the fact that you can you get a bunch of free factories extra infrastructure uh research slots a bunch of doctrine you can get a bonus to mech uh, two years you can get uh, two bonuses to your armor technology um extra two years ahead of time on infantry weapons and support artillery that lets you um get something considerably ahead of time um it also has good bonuses over here deterrence is actually really strong um, I think a lot of people sleep on that, but it's like 20% construction speed for military factories is actually quite good. Um, why we fight can let you create factions or uh, ideological fanaticism lets you create factions. Um, people don't understand just how good that is. Like um, not every nation can create factions. That's kind of unique to um, typically larger nations. Um, but the fact that you can do that is actually how we're abusing this. So uh, 
that's going to be one of the exploits where we're going to get down to ideological fanaticism as you can see we're rushing down to it and once we get that we can create factions we can do a lot of shenanigans then after that uh some focus do, are not worth the 70 day timer yeah maybe not um so probably some of these should be maybe 35 days or something like that um, but at the same time like there are some bonuses in this tree that are actually quite busted so oh this one too um mil uh, the co the combination of uh five percent from militarism plus two percent population recruitable population for military youth this makes fascism kind of insane and then uh the polit political power is all almost always useful um so getting a ton of political power too especially early on if you go communist is is actually quite good as well all right let's finish this up Yeah, Crow Ripper, Recruitable Pop is OP if going the fascist path. Exactly. Yeah, sorry, I saw that after I was just talking about it, but you're correct. It, it is quite good. There we go. Xinqiang has capped. Um, can we take anything? We don't have enough points, so we're going to pass. Okay, we have enough points now. We can take one province, one singular province. I guess we could try for this one, but this one is about a guarantee, so boom. Uh, we still have some points. We might be able to get this. Maybe? They're going to contest us. And I think since we're fighting, are we fighting the Soviets? Yeah, we're fighting the Soviets. I'm guessing this is not going to go well for us. We can fight it out. We'll, we'll, we'll duke it out with them. Maybe we'll get an extra territory. It doesn't really matter either way. We we only need one. Nope, we lost the battle. So click forfeit. And oh, Mongolia got a state. <laughs> you don't usually see that. That's funny. Okay. Boom. All right. So Soviet Socialist Republic of Xinjiang was puppeted. That's fine. Okay. So now you see we have two territories. This unlocks a special ability for us. So as you can see, we have enough uh, democratic support now. We have 19%, actually way more than enough. So we can now do some, a special thing. We can do prepare for the civil war. Oop. And now when we're ready, once we have less than 50% stability, we can ignite the civil war. So this normally uh, a single, th this is the exploit by the way, or the first exploit of uh i don't know maybe four five i don't know how many there's actually going to be uh, i didn't count all of them out um but anyways this is the first exploit so um normally a one province state you cannot do a civil war because we now have two territories even though this one is not a core of our nation this this is this is sovereign Xinjiang Ling land we we can't do anything with this except you know build uh compliance and stuff uh, but uh we, yeah it, it's not our core we, there's there's only so much we can do with it so normally we wouldn't be able to civil war if if we're just tani tuva so basically this unlocks civil wars for you far earlier than you could otherwise like say we had wanted to go fascist here uh, if we were building up our fascism support, or or let's say we wanted to go democratic by referendum, we would need 60% before we could actually do a referendum. So it's already the end of 1936. We got this fairly early on. Um, we this would take us probably, and there's an there's another issue with trying to build your um, support for for another um, ideology than than what you start as once you get to like say i think it's like 30 35 percent something like that it starts to slow down so you're not getting that full 0.1 tick daily you're gonna get like 0.5 daily or 0.25 daily or 0.3 or whatever it changes down to so and then there can also be some other things that affect it as well like in this case collectivist ethos is affecting it negatively for us so it's actually reducing that um that amount that we're getting all right um 
Let's address some of these comments. Uh, Civil War, many players underestimate. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, the comments, uh, leave the common term before the Civil War. Oh, good call. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do that for sure. And ask military access, uh, both Soviets and um, Mongolia before the flip. Can we do that? Is that a thing? No, I don't think that's a thing. Oh, you're saying like once we leave, then you ask like right away? Is that a thing you could do? Uh, why Democratic though, Hatless Spider? Um, so you'll see. Democratic's incredibly strong. I think uh, people have not understood just how strong Democratic is. <laughs> We're going to show that today. All right, but but yeah, anyways, that was the, the this is going to be the Civil War trick. So um, where are we at now? Political commissars, let's do that. And then once our justification finishes, that's when we will. Uh, was there anything else I need to do? You know what? We need. Why? Why is uh, Britain should be guaranteeing them. Why are they not guaranteeing them? Is it too early for Britain to guarantee? Is that the issue? Hmm. Wait, what? United Kingdom is guaranteeing the independence of China. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. How long would a war goal take? 260 days, though. Wait, why are we even able to justify on China? Oh, it's just because we're commie. Yeah, yeah, that works. Um, look at Paraguay. You can get military access from them. Yeah. But I, I think the, the, what I'm thinking, though, is once I leave the common turn... Um, they're not going to like me very much. They'll, they'll see me as a faction trader. So that's why I'm like wondering when I actually click this leave, will they actually accept military access? If they do, that's certainly going to be helpful. Um, the other issue though is going to be, hmm. yeah, I guess that, that might work. We'll, we'll see if that works. No PP maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I, I would think UK would have some PP at, at some point, you know, because we've been justifying for 277 days now. <laughs> we have another, like, 90 days, so they still have time to guarantee them. Um, but, like, they should guarantee I don't. I don't know why they wouldn't. It's just strange. Hmm. You know what, though? If they guarantee China, then it, it's an increased cost. So it's at 50 PP rather than 25. That could be part of the issue. Um, who do you want the UK to guarantee? I'm wanting the UK to guarantee USA. I, I kind of need that to happen, actually. Um, and I don't know what else we can do to, to make that happen. Potentially, like, UK will sometimes guarantee... They they typically guarantee people that are close to them. Like if I just fight on Ireland, they would they would hundred percent join join in on that. Um the only other thing I can think of is we could hmm. For for what I'm planning to do, I kinda need USA plus United Kingdom. That's why I'm like, will this still work? <laughs> I don't know if it will. Can't you declare on the USA and then justify in the UK? I mean, I could. I, I could even just do the United Kingdom for, for what I'm planning to do. I don't know. We'll, we'll roll with this and see what it does. All right, where's our little guy? Oh, he's way down there. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Get back up here. Hopefully UK will get their act together. Do 
Get all those Soviet troops. It's crazy just how many troops they have. Uh, guarantee USA, please. Come back, Britain. It's like they they will always guarantee people when you've generated a lot of tension. But right now they're like, nah, we're not gonna do it. Uh, Eli, what are you playing as? I don't see it. We're playing as Tana Tuva. Um, I'm just showing off a little, a uh, few little tricks that I've learned. So, um, so far the the only trick that I've shown, uh, has been the, the little civil war trick. Although we haven't actually done the civil war yet. Um, but. Basically, you don't have to have extra cores to be able to uh, civil war as a one province nation. So Tuva is a one province nation. Well, like we have extra provinces, but we're a one territory nation. So normally you wouldn't be able to civil war. But if you if you just find someone and you take at least one of their territories, which in this case we took Hunlan Shan from Xinjiang. Even though it's not a core of ours, we can still actually... Uh, Oh, no garrison too you can still actually civil war all right ideological fanaticism is next now we have a ton of political power uh i think we no 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 we, we don't need to do anything with stability because once we're at war uh, our stability will go down and then we can civil war freely it's not looking like uh, Britain's not wanting to uh, guarantee at all. I could, I don't know. Uh, here's a question. If, okay, Philippines is a puppet of the United States. So if I just find them too, is it potential that uh, Soviets, or not Soviets, is, is there potential that, that Britain will actually guarantee them? I don't know. We can see. <gasps> they did it. Okay. Well, that works, actually. Because um, <laughs> I don't know why they wouldn't guarantee the United States. But this works, I'm pretty sure. Like, after we declare war on um, uh, United States, we can just manually declare war on the Philippines. We can... Cancel that justification too, because we don't need it. We just needed this guarantee. I hope that works. All right, how close are we? 10 days. <laughs> Fun fact, Tainutuva is the most industrialized nation uh, that, per population, you mean? What does Tuva mean? I have no clue. What does Tanu mean? I have no clue. All right, let's grab a save here. Tuvan test, that'll work. All right. Time to declare war. And if, let's see if I was correct in this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay, declare war. And the, in theory, UK should honor that. Yes, beautiful. Okay. All right, we fixed it, boys. Just doing it. <laughs> For whatever reason, they, they wouldn't guarantee the United States, but they would guarantee the puppet. So it's good enough for me. Okay. But yeah, I was like, they, they always freaking guarantee everyone that you don't want them to so but but in this case they they were being hesitant all right so the soviet union wants to join our war and i think we want to let them right they want to join against the united states and everyone else Okay. Um, so now I think what we do is we leave the common turn and we ignite our civil war.
Just trying to make sure that I remembered to do everything. Uh, civil, because we're at war, we lost 20% stability, so now we can actually do the Civil War, no problem. We don't even need to lower our stability, like, uh, by any other way. Will you be able to leave the faction now that you called Stalin in? Yes, that's correct. <gasps> no, it's not correct. I forgot we're not the, we're not the leader. <gasps> no. Hmm, I don't think this idea will work then. That's unfortunate. Because we do we do have to leave it. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure. Unless there's another way we can do this. Um Yeah. It's alright, we got the save. Like I said, this is all theory, so so we're still working with some ideas here. So <laughs> Uh, so if you want to know what my idea was, it was to, mm, wait a minute. Is there any, I think it will actually work still. Let, let me, let's go back to the save. I think, I think this will still work. I, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but um, let me think about this. Okay, <laughs> did did we get the uh, guarantee on Philippines already? Yeah, we had. Okay, so we were just ready to declare war, which is fine. All right, we'll declare war on them, and then we're gonna declare war on the UK. I I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I I think when we do the civil war now. Um, I think our enemy will, or no, yeah, if we're leaving the common turn, I don't, I don't think it'll work. Wait, I don't think we actually need the Soviets to be in, in the war. So I think this is fine. As long as we can be at war with the UK and... Uh, the, the USA. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of racking my brain here. All right, so let, let's try this. Let's leave the faction. We're going to leave the common turn. And now we're going to do our, we're going to ignite our civil war. Oh, uh, we do need to delete this unit as well. That way no one gets a unit. You could try calling in Mongolia, then they call in the Soviet Union after you leave. Oh, clever, clever. Um, hmm, that's an interesting idea. <laughs> yeah, we like call them in and then we click the button. All right, let's try that. I like that idea. Good call, tech. Um, <laughs> let's see if that if that works. Actually, I'd like to see a Democratic Ottoman Federation. Oh, disgusting. I don't know if that's actually possible because I think um, once you turn Ottoman, I think they get like all options to increase Democratic support all get turned off. Okay, let's do this again. There war. Got to declare war on the Philippines as well. And then <laughs> we call in Mongolia. If we click the button and then leave instantly, what happens? <laughs> or uh, what? let's see first what happens if we just call in Mongolia and they join. And then... Okay, okay, so uh, we can't do that. Uh, however, I think we can actually call them in and then leave the faction. Like, we, we can do it instantly. So let's see. One more time. Yeah, Kami Tuva will join Cometurn. They might anyways, yeah. I I'm not sure. Um the problem is if Kami Tuva joins the Cometurn, we get stomped by the Soviets. 
that the Soviets will kill us. So we actually don't want Kami Tuva to join the common turn. Uh, okay, declare war, do this again. Declare war and all right, let's see let's see if that idea works. I mean it wouldn't matter if we call in Mongolia or uh Soviets. They will accept though. So we click that and then we hit leave faction. We'll see if they actually join. <laughs> this is gonna be so goofy. Mm, it looks like the the uh, request might get canceled. I'm not sure though. Either way, let's let's go ahead and do our civil war. So we'll ignite that. Uh, instantly, the the UK wants us in their faction. <laughs> we don't want to do that though. Um, wait, why would the USA not be in the? They, they just haven't joined yet. Or did Britain not? Not uh, honor. No, they honored it. Okay, they're just not in yet. Wait, does that mean we can... We could create a faction with... Oh, but we don't have the national spirit yet. Okay, so this could be a way to get the United States in our faction, but I actually don't want to. Um, I kind of wanted, like, United... My idea was to get United States and UK into a faction together. And then what we would do is we would get France into a faction with us. They're going to beat the living tar out of France and whoever else we want to do. We, we want a faction with. So like we could faction Mexico. The USA will beat up Mexico for us. Oh, they're not aligned though. Uh, I think eventually, do, do they go democracy eventually? I feel like they do. Uh, but but basically anyone we want to get uh, that's a democracy we can get into our faction. And actually, like Romania is still a democracy right now. We could actually get them. Um, Czechoslovakia, we could get them into a faction. Um, of course, then there's not really any way into Czechoslovakia except like, yeah, there's not really a good way to, uh, for them to actually beat those people up. Um, But we're trying to we're trying to find ways to to get like the UK and the United States to just beat people up for us, and then we can get some uh, exiled manpower in that in that uh, manner. We could actually faction Zebe San Ma right now, <laughs> which would be funny. Wait, could we faction? We could faction China. That would be huge. I don't think it's possible though. Gonna just check our options. Oh yeah, you can boost Mexico to make uh, them democratic faster. I wonder when they actually go um, democratic though. Because they do at a certain point. Uh, Romania is democratic right now. The other thing is, I think at this point, actually, hmm, this might be an idea. Uh, if we can go to war with the United Kingdom, and as you can see, we can justify a war goal on them right now. Uh, why can we just for justify them though? That shouldn't be an option because they're a democracy, I think. Even, uh, like, like we can, democracies can justify on, uh, British Raj because they're not aligned. But I'm not actually sure why we would be able to justify on UK right now. Unless it, like, isn't factoring in that we've changed to democratic now. We have 3% democracy support. <laughs> uh, but, but here's an idea, though. Like... The thing is, right now, the United States is uh, fairly weak.
if we were to if we were able to faction the United States and p- potentially like have Mexico be at war with Mexico as well, um, the UK and Canada could actually probably wipe out the United States. If they do that, that would be a huge amount of stuff. Uh, the problem would be like look how many little crappy islands they have. And then there's Alaska too. Yeah, it might it might be too hard to to actually pull off. Um, but if we got them, that's like what what do they have? 120, 140 million people, something like that. Oh yeah, it takes a couple hours time to factor in the ideology change. Gotcha. But either way, like. We we can still go to war with the UK because like um I think uh I don't know, they're they're considered a defender, so actually we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to unless they're in an offensive war. Um so we would we would have to start the the, the justification process like right now. Unless it actually cancels. But I'm just trying to figure out what to do here. Like, like we 100% can get France into a faction with us. Uh, but the thing is, like, even after we do that, they have a million spots. So how good is, is it actually to get France into a faction? I don't know. United States might actually be better. So I'm thinking we might have to switch up the strategy. If you guys think of any ideas with this, like, like you, if you understand what I'm getting at, like, like we can justify on, like, say we justify on the United Kingdom. We could then create a faction with Ireland, for instance. We create a faction with Ireland. The UK beats the, the living shit out of Ireland for us. And, and we get manpower from them then. Um, <laughs> same thing, like, if we created a faction with... Denmark, they're going to do the same thing. If we created a faction with Netherlands, they're going to do the same thing. Um, so that's the idea behind this. Like if we can get... Uh, Netherlands actually might be a good idea because then um, more than likely the Allies will end up taking the entire Dutch East Indies and that would give us uh, some manpower. So... Um, we can do the same thing with Sweden. And once these nations fall, then we can um, we can get manpower from them and, and disband the faction and then create a new faction with someone else. So like say uh, Britain invades Norway and capitulates them. Okay, well now we're getting Norway manpower and factories. Um, but then we can also, like we can then create a faction with Sweden. They'll do the same thing to Sweden. So they, they just... It's a snowball effect that we can do. So, uh, would Ethiopia work if you invited to the faction, or would it just go to the UK as scripted? Um, not sure. Let me see what happens with Ethiopia. Yeah, they're already in the Allies technically. It's kind of a weird situation with Ethiopia, though. It's like not they're they're not actually in the faction. They're just kind of like. I don't know. USA have a huge fleet. UK won't have an easy time in the Pacific. Um, Cuba is also democratic. Uh, there's some others like Honduras, um, uh, Panama, Costa Rica is, Colombia, uh, Ecuador, Chile, Uruguay. Uh, I think that's it down here. But so there's a lot of South American options. There's also, I think, Haiti. Yeah, Haiti is. Uh, Dominican Republic is fascist. I think that's it down there. Uh, so there's a lot of democratic options down there that we could ally with potentially and then have someone beat them up. Um, And I think it really doesn't matter if Soviets go to war with them or not, is what I'm thinking. Although the only thing I'm worried about, um, here let's let's let it run a little bit and see what happens. 
The United States joined. So yeah, that call to war didn't do anything with the with Mongolia. That's fine though. Uh, another option, I think we could actually ally Spain. Yeah, we could. Um, I don't know if that does anything good for us or not, though. Oh, okay. A Poivra, uh, you can go to the international relations screen and sort by ideology. Um, what's that? Let's see. I don't remember how to get to that. I get to it sometimes, but <laughs> you might have to direct me. Oh yeah, they got Primo de Rivera. Uh, doesn't Poland get a boost to exile manpower? Uh, yeah, if they if they actually do the focuses for that, I don't know if they're set to or not. Uh, the problem with Poland, though, is we can't actually really create a faction with them. We would need to have threat generation. So, as you can see here, we we could create a faction with Zibe Sanma. And the reason for that is uh, we have generated threat. So, you can see there in the little screen, it's saying Zibe Sanma is feeling threatened by us 100 Uh, potentially, I wonder who else we could justify. If we did justify on China instead, we might be able to like, uh, I don't think what we could do. China would kill Zibe Sanma for us. That's not that much manpower though. Yeah, we don't have, we don't really have threat with anyone else. Even like Tibet, now we have no threat. So it it looks like it's kind of limited on like the range of it. So that only uh, Shanxi is feeling threatened us by us by one point. So I think because it, it works a little differently here in East Asia, like the the amount of land and like just how huge it is, um, that's really limiting. Like how much threat we can actually generate to, to our neighbors. Like I know when we play Luxembourg, we can actually generate threat to even like Bulgaria and Turkey. Um, so it seems like the range on it is a lot bigger in Europe. Uh, the, but, the, but, the button is in the bottom of any country screen when you right click on a country. Okay. Ah, thank you, thank you. Okay. And then you can sort by ideology. Uh, democratic. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. All right. So definitely a large list of people that are democratic. So it's just a matter of like, who can we actually get killed for us for, <laughs> to, to help us? I, I like the idea of France, but, but again, like, Look at the amount of land they have that, that would have to all get taken, including like New Caledonia, um, this Tahiti way over here. Uh, I think there might even be some others. I know there's some like near Madagascar, uh, Djibouti. Like, there's just so much that would have to get taken before we could actually deploy French divisions up here in Tuva itself. But, I mean, we do have the option to create a faction with them. So, I mean, I, I guess it's probably a good idea regardless. Okay, yeah, we, we would have had to uh, start just fine on them. Right then. All right, let's redo this. We'll We'll play around with this a little bit. Okay. 
Yeah, India's best for sure. Um, I just wanted to see like how many nations we could get because you also get a lot of factories from that. And so it, it's really, really good. The, mo the more nations you can get capitulated, the better it's going to be for you. So let's see here. Um, our justifications are done. We can start new justifications now. Like if I want to, I can justify on... Uh, whoa, that's not bad. 20, uh, 160 days. I'd rather just find someone that creates less tension though, because it makes it easier um, for us then to create factions with people. So, all right, this is 160 days, only an increase of 1%. I like that. All right, so this would get us at war with, uh, with both the United States and the United Kingdom then. Um, and I'm thinking what we'll do is create a faction with France. Uh, should I? Should I wait until that we have ideological fanaticism done? It might be a good idea. Although I, then we could start buttering uh, France up as well. So uh, maybe Sweden. Yeah, Sweden's all right. Um, the problem with Sweden is they have this little island here, and a lot of times it doesn't get taken. And then you can't actually deploy. But they also don't have a whole lot of manpower. Um, yeah, it's it's not that great for manpower. Yeah, Indonesia is absolutely huge. Like, they have 8 million there, 4 to 2 million here. I think they have about a total of, like, almost 60 million. So they're, they're certainly a good option. Um, but again, there, there's a lot of islands. But I think... With USA and Britain in the faction, especially with Britain having a piece next to the Dutch East Indies, I think that's probably going to work fairly well. But I'm thinking what we'll do, we'll do France first and then hope that... Hmm, uh, we, could, we could maybe do Netherlands first. But again, like Britain's going to have to do naval invasions in the Netherlands to capitulate them. So I don't know how well that'll work. I imagine they will do it, but I, 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 I just don't know. Maybe boosting Siam as well. Uh, like boosting the democracy support there. It would be too hard to, to actually get them to flip. Siam's not huge on manpower. It's like, uh, what, 13 million? 14? 14 or 15 million, something like that. There's probably some other options we could do. Uh, just trying to think of what all we can do. We, we could do another justification as well. Like, for instance, if we justified on Albania. 240 days and only 2% world tension generated from that uh that would probably help with like killing france off and and getting them to join i think if we justified on them they would actually end up join or no they couldn't join the allies yeah that wouldn't be a possibility But another thing we can do, we, we could create a faction with, like, Spain. Because <laughs> they're going to die anyways. Would be kind of funny to, to have Spain in our faction. Right before they die. Belgium is good, though. They have great factories. Uh, let's see. I think we would have to... Or no, we could we could just straight up go to war with, with National Spain, then. I don't think they would be able to join a faction. Or maybe... 
Actually, you know what? That might put Nationalist Spain in the Allies. I think it actually would. That would be funny. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Austria will also get eaten soon. Yeah, we we could guarantee them, but it, yeah, it doesn't do anything. They they get annexed regardless. Okay, um, I think I know what to do then. Let's. I'm just trying to think if we should justify on Italy like, or Albania. Because I think. Uh, we can make the world go like total chaos mode. I, I'm pretty sure. Which is always fun. Or we justify on Germany. They don't they don't guarantee anyone. But we could we could even justify in Germany. And then Germany would help kill some people for us. They don't they don't actually have the access created yet. I wonder if we can get them to join the Allies. That would be kind of hilarious. All right, let, let's test this out. It is gonna it's gonna bump tension up a lot though. I don't like that because then it, it it makes it harder to create factions with people. The more tension we create, because it, it when you like. Like, let's show this. Um, or actually, I can't yet. Because I'm not actually a democracy yet. Um, <laughs> if they were guaranteed someone, I, I, I'd be tempted to do this. But I, I don't think we can actually do it. All right, we'll just do, we'll do Italy. I think that's the safe bet. Because we can generate a very small amount of tension and still um, get to war with Italy. The other option would be like we we just find Poland and then we could create the faction with like Romania and Czechoslovakia and they could kill them individually for us. That that was my other thought. Um but just fine on them it's 11%. That's not horrible. But we when we've already created like 60%, that's not great. I don't know, chat. What do you think? <laughs> uh, I guess we could try the Italy thing. Oh, and we're ready to attack. So let's do our declaration. And we got to do the Philippines as well. So now we're up to 70.9%. Ouch. Yeah, if tension goes 100, Greece and Albania might work. Um, wait, couldn't you get the Guangxi click to join you and then let the Chinese destroy them because they joined the United Front in 38? Well, they wouldn't. They wouldn't be joining the uh, United Front in that case because they would be in our faction, so they wouldn't even be allowed to. All right, um, I guess let's do our civil war. Oh, we got to leave the common turn as well. And access, we can get docking rights. Oh, so if we had improved relations with them, I think they would allow us to actually get access, which is kind of funny. We can get it with Mongolia. But not with, uh, not with the Soviets. All right. Well, um, let's improve relations with them, and then we'll get military access. They want us back in the faction too. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, 100%. Um, if we created a faction with, if we went to war with Germany and created a faction with Czechoslovakia, it would work. Uh, the problem is it's it just becomes incredibly difficult. Like, I'll show you guys the um, modifier here soon. They just get very salty at us. All right, what is this? Let the people be heard. That's fine. Almost got it. Ah, there we go. All right. It's time to civil war. Leave the unit. Civil war. Okay. And our justifications are still going. Or they should be. Let's see. Okay, yep. We're just fine war goal against British Malaya and Albania. Let's make sure those still go though. Okay, it looks like, yeah, they're still good. So because we were communists when we started them, they do still get to go. All right, so let's take a look now. Um, we do wanna be improving relations with some people and stuff so that we can actually create a faction. Uh, yeah, negative 100 right now. Ooh, generated world tension and negative 143. That might be too much. I might have to look at, um, yeah, I might have to look at a different option of who, who to be just fine on because I think that might be too much to even be able to create a faction. Yeah, negative 143. I don't think we can actually overcome that. Because even if we get 100 relations with them, they're still not going to create a faction with us. We, from improved relations, we can only get plus 100. Um, now, there's other things like guarantee independence, but we're too weak to actually do that. Yeah, they all, they all just like despise us absolutely because we've created so much tension. Ah, oh, that sucks. Yeah, we get, we're gonna have to figure out a different way to do this. I think um, so. The better option is gonna be like justifying on the Philippines. Uh, I don't think justifying on the Philippines alone creates enough tension. So we might have to do like. Uh, first justification that will spike uh, to the point where the UK will actually guarantee and then do an actual justification on the Philippines. Thinking that's what we'll have to do. But I think, in theory, this should work. You could have puppeted Sin Kiang, but that wouldn't work. What do, what do you mean? More than 25 world tension is enough to trick the UK guarantee. Okay. Yeah. 
So we'll, we'll keep it low, but we'll still get the, the guarantee then. Before now, you could call the USSR in. I'm not sure what you're saying still. All right, first justification, we'll do this again. We're gonna do this faster than last time. Um, second justification then, wait, how much did this one actually create? I don't think it's gonna be that much. I can't actually tell. Without canceling it, and I don't wanna do that. I, I, what I'm thinking of doing just to spike tension a bit is to justify for a little bit on the USA. Get like maybe 20% and then justify on the Philippines. Uh, you can call the USSR spam uh, two wits and then attack Sinkiang with the USSR called in. Don't know if that works nowadays. I would like to try to get the entire entirety of Sinkiang. The problem is uh, the Soviets are still going to get war score, even if you do that. So they're still going to end up taking stuff, but we can't even really spam two wits because we don't have enough population. All right, yeah, I think what I'll do, I'll just justify on the USA and create some tension. Once we get to like 25% tension created, then I'm just going to cancel that, and I'm actually going to then switch and do a justification on the Philippines. I think the USA is best because it spikes tension the fastest out of anyone. Yeah, two, two with paratroopers, yeah, that would be a possibility, but it's just, it's pain. Like, or actually, I don't even think it is a possibility because uh, the airport is going to be all the way up here. And like I was saying before, the the uh, amount of land here is like a tremendous amount in how it calculates. And so your your transport plane is barely going to reach, if at all. I don't know if it even reaches at all. It's got to go over a bunch of Mongolia. Mongolia is actually a huge nation. All right, we're getting that world tension. So far, we're up to almost 7%. I'm gonna get a save here next time. Um, although, yeah, we would have had to restart pretty much regardless because uh, we're going to do this differently with, with the whole Philippines thing rather than uh, the USA itself. Freedom. 150 political power. Let's get our democratic reformer.
Okay. All right, we're we're at sixteen point eight. Are you sure it's uh, Am since on the twenty five percent world tension? Is that the 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 threshold where Britain will guarantee? I've actually kind of forgotten now. That sounds right, but I can't remember if it's twenty percent or twenty five percent. If anyone knows, let me know. Okay. Thank you. 25% then. And we're at 22%. We're getting there. Oh, but is that, oh, you know what, you know what I'm thinking of, um, we need, so, so you're saying total tension, um, so we're good on how much we've generated then right now, because it's over 25%, and that's all we need, because uh, I, I think as long as you personally have created over 10%, they will guarantee. So I'm going to cancel this one now, and then I'm going to switch it to the Philippines. we go 320 days now get that running and actually you know what there's 100 days left on this i think we probably should have just waited and then done a new justification we do have we we do still have time to cancel it if we want to uh, but let's see if we get that guarantee. Oh, instantly. There it is. Nice. Uh, the alien, did you see an exploit where the guy creates a faction with Italy and the AI? It just gives its entire army as an expeditionary force. Yeah, I did. Um, uh, who was that? Was that um, Sajazwak? I know I watched that video, but I can't remember exactly who did that. I think it was Shazazwak. One of the um one of the Balkaner guys. because uh, uh, he did it as a real tiny nation. Um I don't remember who. He, he was like uh, trying to create um Al Andalus, I think. Hello, Tiros. You're, uh, you're maybe late, but we haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> we, we've had some trouble, so, um, we're, we're kind of figuring things out as we go a little bit. Can you do it with the Soviet divisions? Ooh, that's, that's a really good point, actually. Um, no, I think because you have to be faction leader. So we don't have the option here. Like, see, if we create this front line, we don't have the option to actually request expeditionaries. Uh, Order 99, it's coming up. We're getting to it. We're trying to. <laughs> We're trying to get over some humps first. Hello, Demetrius. All right, we got a little more democracy support. We're good to go to uh, do our, our thing here soon. Doctrination is next. Now we have a ton of political power again. And let's do uh, 150 for our silent workhorse and 100 for the army maneuver expert. And then when we can, we'll do prepare for the Civil War. 
or no, we can't do that yet. Yeah, um, it, it's, you can see here it's still saying more controlled states than one. How is there 27 tension and 36? We artificially created it. So we've generated 22.7% right now, and we got a guarantee of independence on the Philippines, and there's also a guarantee of independence on China right now. You don't need to be a faction leader for expeditionaries. So what? How do you how do you get them then? It's like it, normally to request them, you have to request them right there. Um, they can. I think they can offer them, but I, I don't think. Um, I don't think we can like specifically request them, without being faction leader. Oh, you need to be at war. Okay. Well, I'll I'll check that here soon then. Once we're at war, I can check that. We have 29 days left. They can offer, you can't request. Okay. Yeah, that's unfortunate because they're not going to offer that. Oh, sorry. Uh, hello, Covini414. I didn't say hello. And hello, Pigeon. I don't think I said hello to you. I'm here for the reverse order 66. <laughs> I'm trying to get to it. We um for anyone that didn't see yet like, we, we've had some trouble because uh, as i was explaining a lot of this is still theory crafting like it's not set in stone nor normally when you see something for me i have already fairly extensively tested it uh, and in this case you're getting to go through that process with me so uh that's what's a bit different with this stream than normal i do like having like um I do like it, having things all all finished up and nicely packaged, but it is what it is. All right, so if we justify a war goal right now with 320 days, uh, what would that be? I'm trying to think if we should cancel this one. 220, no, we shouldn't cancel it. Okay, we're we're good. We'll let this keep rolling. 220 days left on that. Um. I don't think, wait. Actually, maybe we should cancel it and redo it. I don't know, I'm all messed up. I'll just let it roll, it's fine. Okay, so we got our war goal done. We can show the the trick again. Uh, this is just to do a civil to be able to do a civil war as a one territory nation, and um, so yeah, normally you can't do a civil war with Tanituva, but with this trick you can. So we're gonna do a civil war to democracy, but we can't click the button just yet. We do have to do something here. So let's see. Uh, we need our troop in place and then I'll declare war. I want him down here. <laughs> when you have your 100k stream, can you give me a shout out? I know you're going to reach that by like December. I highly doubt that, but, uh, <laughs> if I do reach it by December, I'll give you a shout out. All right. Declare war. <laughs> All right, we're going to call in the Soviets. Soviets only. We don't want to call in Mongolia. They will call in Mongolia eventually, but it gives us, it gives us a little bit of extra time to push without as many divisions. That's the idea there. So call them in. We're instantly going to go for their capital and then just head down something like that. There we go. Good enough. Uh, prepare for the Civil War. The Glorious Tanituva. Are you trying to do the Siberian thing? Uh, because other than that, I DK, what you're trying to do with the Tanu? <laughs> well, um, I'm 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 doing some little tricks here. So uh, this this is the first of the tricks that we're doing right now. Uh, we're, we're preparing to be able to hit. Um, uh, we're preparing to be able to do a civil war. So to be able to do a civil war, you need at least two provinces. 
So for Tanning Tuva, it's a little bit different, a little bit difficult to get another province, but we will, we should get at least enough war score to get one singular province from Sinkiang. So that's the goal here. Speed it up. Move, move, move. Political Commissars is next. Uh, Soviets don't take land from China in peace deals normally. No, that, that's actually changed. Um, they do take it now. They didn't used to. They've gotten more greedy than they than they used to be. Oh, they're actually uh, encircling me here. <laughs> There we go, got it. All right, so we have eight points. So we're gonna do a pass, cause that can't afford anything. That'll give us enough to take at least this territory. And we're gonna contest it. Hopefully they will give it up. Cause if they don't, we're in trouble. Okay, we got it. <laughs> Good. Well, we got a singular province, that's all we need. Firm an exit. And now we have Tanu Tuva and Kunlan Shan. So now we have our two provinces. We can hit this button for prepare the civil war. We can do that right now because we have more than 20, or well, in this case, we have more than 20% democratic support, but we only actually need 10% to be able to click this button. We can click this now. This means that later after we finish this focus here, political commissars, this will reduce our democracy support by 20% when it does increase the popularity of communism by 20%. So even though that happens, we're still going to be all right. Um, we'll still have more than enough democracy support to be able to actually, well, we won't have enough democracy support to really do a proper civil war, but um, uh, yeah, it, it's it, because we clicked the button already, we can still hit that ignite civil war when the time comes. Uh, why go Democratic Tanu Tuva? Because Democratic Tanu Tuva is incredibly strong. <laughs> All democracies are way stronger than people thought. When when you do the this one simple trick. <laughs> All right, what are we doing right now? We're just doing a justification on the Philippines. And we have them guaranteed by Britain. All right. Um, we need to do something else, I think. Uh, we'll do our other justifications later, I think. When, once that justification finishes. Yeah, sounds like a funny uh, clickbait 2017 YouTube video. Yeah, it's like those old ads. Um, doctors hate him. Find out how this uh, this one man uh, how, created his own immortality. Uh, like all those stupid clickbait uh, articles. Uh, what is your end goal? Uh, the end goal here is to show some little exploits that I've figured out. But we're also trying to figure out a few things along the way, like like how to maximize the amount of nations that we can um, that we can incorporate into our nation, and and start pulling exile manpower from them. So now we can do this ideological fanaticism. That's a good thing for us. And let's see, our justification on the Philippines. Ooh. Wow, we still have 117 days. I feel like that's way worse than it should have been.
Yeah, that's that was not great. Now we have enough world tension regardless anyways. So I probably need to optimize this a little bit more. Like how how long we justify on the United States before switching to the Philippines. I think that's going to be the key. <laughs> when I play as Germany, I like to ironically annex the Soviets and puppet them only in Tanutuva. <laughs> Just as it was meant to be. Okay, there we go. We got our ideological fanaticism. Now we can pretty much do anything else we want to. Um, doesn't really matter too much. Wait. We're still in the... Uh, why can't I do this one? Oh, we have to be at war. Okay. Sure, sure. And I can't actually do the Civil War until we go to war, so. So have like 40 days. And there's the United, Chinese United Front. N-G-G-Y-U. No, I have no idea what that means. I feel like doing a tag switch would be OP in the situation like what you do, like what you did with Syria and Turkey. I mean, I, I can't tag switch with anyone yet. Um, because Tanutuba, or down here in Xinjiang, it would actually give back to Xinjiang. Um, I mean, we could maybe, um, like, like if we took Shanxi, for instance, we could tag switch to them. That would be actually kind of strong, but, um, even then, like, I don't, I don't know if it would really work very well for this type of run. You could unite China, maybe. <laughs> if you take communist China and tag switch to them. Communist China is kind of OP. There we go, finally. All right. Um, France is still not part of the Allies, so that's good. I think we might be able to do this, boys. We'll see. All right. Let's overwrite our save. And let's declare war. Uh, we needed to do more justifications, too. So... Who did we do? It was British Malaya. That was one of them. And then we were doing... Oh, now we're going to give you up. The, the, the classic troll. Alright, how much would this actually increase? 25%. I don't think we can afford that, unfortunately. Um, But we can't do Albania. And Albania, what? 430 days? They have a modifier. Okay. That's annoying. They didn't have that last time. Maybe they just got it. That's so stupid. All right. Uh, what else can we do? <laughs> I don't know if I want to wait 430 days for a justification. I mean, I guess it wouldn't matter too much. The other option might be... Ooh. Let's think about this. If we if we get that to that one hundred percent tension, we could guarantee Albania. We might be able to get Albania and Italy into our faction as long as it's early enough. That would be kind of funny. Uh, we could. Uh, how about this? We could do we could do justification on Poland, um, because I think Poland can kill Czechoslovakia or Romania by themselves. Like if we if we factioned Czechoslovakia, Poland would kill them for us. 
and I think, uh, well, Poland would would actually end up joining the Allies, and then the Allies would would be able to stomp both of those nations for us, and then we can get manpower and such from them. So I think that would work. That's eleven or nine percent uh, world tension. So it's not that bad. All right, let's do that. And then uh, we'll we'll see what happens if tension like completely spikes, which it should, especially as as nations start actually uh, capitulating. Um, the tension will spike even more and more. All right, so I think we're good with that. And now we should be able to civil war, and we have our um, focus that allows us to. Wait, oh, we gotta declare war. Da 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 da. Okay. Declare war on the Philippines. Britain will join. There it is. And it's time to ignite the civil war. Alright, so we still have our justifications going. We have a uh, better democratic support this time at 17%. Okay, yeah, those are still going. <gasps> I forgot to leave the faction. I forgot to leave the faction. That's why we say that's why we save the game, boys. That's why we do that. <laughs> okay, so let's do this again. Um who did we justify on? British Malaya first. Was that how long it took last time? 220 days? I mean, maybe maybe that was right. Um, and then Poland. Yeah, that was right, because 330 days. Forgot again, yeah. Uh, it's all right. We, that's why we got to save. Leave the common turn. There we go. All right, and now we click. Oh, another thing. We got to delete this bad boy. So there we go. We'll get our manpower back, and then we can do Ignite the Civil War. After declaring war. Their war. We're going to wait like a day. Let them join. United, K United Kingdom joins. And let's do the Ignite Civil War. This should work this time. <laughs> should. Keyword. Should. Alright, we can get military access. Again, I forgot to uh, improve relations with the Soviets. We'll do it right now. Uh, maybe they'll let us eventually. Probably not. Yeah, they probably won't because now we're we're democratic. So I don't think they're going to. Um, it looked like Mongolia will let us though. So we'll see. Um, and we're going to need to create the faction. Okay, they have a bad opinion of us. Negative 46 from world tension right now. Uh, I'd like to get Spain because they're about to capitulate. It might be possible. All right, let's do Spain first. We'll see what happens. Oh, here, we can do these at the same time. So uh, we'll improve relations with France. Uh, let's do these others too. Uh, actually, you know what? Those can wait. But we, we will do France because we, we want to get them before they actually join the United Kingdom. Since these guys are in an active war right now, I think that's probably the best, uh, best option. It's always so weird that Regional Defense Council is considered uh, not aligned. And these guys, uh, do they go communist sometimes? Or maybe in historical they're, they're never communists? I don't know. I don't pay enough attention to what Spain does usually. <laughs> Nationalists pretty much always win. Alright, can we actually get enough improved relations? That's... Okay, let's send an attache to see if that improves their opinion of us. Okay, it does. But only by 15. 
Mm, this might be close. Oh, we don't have a mutual war. That's part of the issue. Um, what else could we even do, though? We can get docking rights, but I don't think that improves their opinion of us. Because even with a hundred relations, it, they're still not going to like us that much, which is weird. How are they only at... Oh, the, the world tension isn't high enough? That's the issue? So we're, we're in a catch-22 then, because we can't improve... Uh, we, we can't really create more tension. We need someone else to, to do it for us, I guess. Yeah, we're we're like maxed out now. I don't think we can even create more do more of anything. We need more tension. Uh Shouldn't they have a a plus 10 modifier for same uh same party? That's, I'm wondering if we need a reload. Here, I'm going to let it run one more day and then it'll auto save and I can load the auto save. See if that fixes it. All right, let's see. I think they should have a plus 10 modifier. No, no, they don't. Why did do, why does no one have a plus ten modifier? Like we're the same ideology. I'm so confused. Cause we get, we can't overcome that without there being more tension. That's the issue we're having. We've improved relations to the max now. I know I was able to create a uh, faction with France before, so I don't... Uh, you know what? They, we actually need more world tension, though. To even be able to create the faction, it has to be at 50%. So we have to create more uh, tension then. And these guys, uh, France would need 80%. But it, yeah, it's a catch-22, though, because if we, if we are the ones that create the tension, uh, it's bad. <laughs> Then, then they all start disliking us. All right, here's what we can do. That takes us back to June. Okay. I'm thinking we'll we'll create a little more tension with um, a justification on Germany.
You can wait until Fade of Czechoslovakia. Yeah, um I mean they're gonna they're gonna create some more tension when, when Austria gets annexed as well. Um I was hoping to get a faction done with uh the with France though. That was my hope. Alright, so uh, gonna leave the faction here. Yeah, Spain will be gone by that time, probably. Yeah, we'll see. I already left the faction. Okay, we're good. Um, so we did both of those justifications. And let's do our civil war. I forgot to get rid of the unit. Oh, well. Too late. Yeah, uh, see, as so we've we've generated twenty four percent, so it's um, it, it looks like it goes with the like the opinion modifier goes with how much tension you've created. So if we if we have created or it, it's times two, so if we've created fifty percent, it's a negative one hundred modifier. <laughs> so that is very frustrating. But I mean, it's really the only way. We, we've got to generate more tension. See what we can do here. Okay, yeah, there's the China War. I would really like to get a faction with Spain. We'll we'll see if it's possible. All right, let's let's do this right now. We'll send the attaché as well. Oh, they won't accept. <laughs> Too low opinion about us. Okay, well we'll we'll fix that. Okay. Attaché, it's good to go. Docking rights doesn't do anything. As far as opinion, uh, non aggression, no, we can't do that. I think we, um, uh, maybe with diplo pressure, we could maybe get a f uh, that with them, but I, I don't know. I'm thinking we're probably going to have to wait for Anschluss before we can actually. Because that's going to spike tensions. Oh, I know why I was able to create a faction with France last time. We specifically declared on France last time. 
with with the enemy uh with, with the enemy Tanatuva. we declared war on france or uh, we actually did yugoslavia and then that brought in czechoslovakia and romania and france all three of those or all four of those Yeah, Spain's already looking close to capitulation. Faction with anarchist Spain. Yeah, I, I would if I could, honestly, but I, we can't do that either. Just trying to think of, of other things that we can do, other options we have. Yeah, I think they just capped, or they're about to. Yeah, there they go. No. And now France is part of the Allies, too. Hmm. I think I know what we can do instead, though. So we'll we'll do this the old way. Try number three. Or is this number four now? I, I know another there there is a way we can we can uh, get several people into our faction rather quickly. Alright, we're gonna speed through this whole beginning part this time. So basically what we do, uh, we do our first justification on Sinkiang just the same way. And then we do our second justification on Yugoslavia. What that does is it will put Tenutuva at war with France, Czechoslovakia, Romania, and Yugoslavia. So there's four nations to pull manpower from there. Um, and what I'm thinking we'll do after that is we'll actually... We will still do that after we get that justification done. We'll still do that justification on the Philippines, and that will put a that will um, the Philippines will then get guaranteed, and we can do the same thing. So uh, we can still go to war with the United Kingdom then. So um, it still allows us to go to war with Britain and the USA together. Um, so I, th I think that's going to let us do everything that we want without like, without doing all the, the crazy shenanigans that we were doing. So, and we'll, we'll be able to get a lot of people into our faction as well. I'm wondering if we'll be able to get Spain into the faction as well. We'll, we'll definitely check on that. We'll, we'll try to get that done too, if possible. Okay, there's our political power. Let's do our justifications. There we go. And one on Yugoslavia. Yeah, um, I, I think you're probably right, Eli. I don't think they can, but I, I'm going to check regardless.
the other option might be if we could get China. <laughs> if we could get China into a faction with us. That would work. I don't know if it's possible. Like by the time we get to ideological fanaticism and do a civil war, I don't know if that would be, if the timeline would work. But if we got China into a faction with us, that would be like a win, 100%. That's all the manpower we would ever need. It is, it's possible before they create the Chinese United Front. That's what you're thinking? So you think it is possible, Eli? Oh, we need to grab our Democratic guy, Democratic reformer. We'll, we'll watch the timelines here and see if it's possible. Because if we get China, <laughs> that's that's literally a win. There, we We could spam as many troops as we wanted to. problem would be it's very hard to get china to capitulate but uh we do have some possibilities of, of things we can do yunnan starts it or i think guangxi click they start the no 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 china starts the chinese united front i'm like 99 percent sure because they're they're the faction leader If we can pull that off, though, it, it would work. Uh, so what we would need, we would need a justification on China. Um, so we do, instead of Yugoslavia in this case, we, we would do China then instead. I'm kind of curious. I kind of want to just try that right now. Like if we could do the civil war fast enough and everything, we could we could actually get them in our faction. I'm I'm fairly certain. Oh, if Chinese United Front won't form, China will not have the national spirits that increase the surrender limit. Oh, so they'll surrender way faster. Oh. <laughs> I really want to see if that works. How much population do they even have? Like, they, they have a stupid amount, right? Like, like they have like 300 or 200 million right now. Without even the rest of China. If not more than that. 250 million, maybe? They have some massive states. I was forgetting to do anything else. Okay, let's do this. Silent workhorse. There we go. Almost have that done. Justification complete. Time to declare war. All in the Soviets.
Yet again. Same attack. Full speed ahead. I mean, I I'm I'm really thinking that China might work. <laughs> and if it did, it would be incredible. One hundred and five days on that left. Okay. Of that territory s and yeah we're good that's fine got our territory pigeon you're ready for china you want to see china <laughs> i i don't know like why didn't we check that before when we did this because you were here for the last tanatuba little playthrough right <laughs> yeah, the event change starts either because the communists kidnap uh, Shen Kai Sh <laughs> You're you got me calling him Shen Kai Shrek now. <laughs> I'm never gonna call him anything else, Shen Kai Shrek. <laughs> you weren't there, hundred percent. Are you lying to me? I think you're lying to me. Alright, all right, we got our two provinces, so we can do the prepare for the civil war. Do that now. <clears throat> Political commissars next. It it all depends on like when we can civil war and when we can finish ideological fanaticism, whether we can actually get China. Uh because like we can a hundred percent get the the declaration in time before they create the Chinese United Front. But whether we can get ideological fanaticism in time, that I'm not sure of. Because we have to have the war, the common war, and we to be able to create a faction with them. It would be really funny if we can. I, that's going to be just massively OP. <laughs> Leave commentary. <laughs> yeah, I will. It's not time yet. We we still have war goals to do and and such. We're finishing this one right now, so we got forty five days. Kappa. What what did Kappa even become popular from? I, I I vaguely remember it, like when it actually became popular. Like people started spamming it nonstop. Was it a was it a League of Legends thing? Ugh. Okay. Ideological fanaticism. I think if this, if we can actually get that in time and create it, if it's, if it's a possibility to create a faction before they do CUF, I'm 100% just going to stop this run right now and we're going to restart because that's going to be way better than any option in Europe. Any option at all. None of them matter if that's the case. Okay, we got 10 days left on our justification. <laughs> what do you do? Is a Twitch this thing, Kappa? <laughs> Alright, declare war. It's weird on YouTube. Oh, just the smiley face is a Kappa? What? <laughs> I 
<laughs> Shanksy starts the chain by kidnapping Shrek. <laughs> Shanksy is the uh, uh, what is that guy's name? Prince Charming. Is he called Prince Charming in Shrek? I it's been so long since I actually watched that. But he's like the 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 bad guy, the the little short prince. Type it in, nerd. <laughs> Uh, hey, welcome back, Kobini. You're just in time. All right. Uh, we're finishing up ideological fanaticism. We have 50 days on that. We just declared war on Yugoslavia to bring in Romania, Czechoslovakia, and France. All three of those glorious nations. All four of those. All right. Um... Do we do our civil war now, or do we need to do anything else? Yeah, let, let's get a save of this one. Lord Farquaad, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know if he was, like, supposed to be, like, a subverted Prince Charming, like, stereotype. You need to own shanks -Z. They want to join the wars, but we don't actually want them to join. Oh, you, you had to take shang -Chi to stop the Chinese United Front? I don't know if we have to anyways, though, because if we could just get this in time, it might actually work regardless. All right, let's do our civil war. Actually... I might need to wait until we get ideological fanaticism. Let's delete this unit while we're thinking about it. Oh, that, that info's from forums five years ago. Ooh, yeah, a lot could change in that in that amount of time with this game. Yeah, I'm not sure if that would be good information still. So. Well, still no uh, Chinese United Front. It, I'm wondering if it if it forms like right at the end of this focus. If that's the case, if we have like one or two days, we could. I think we could create the faction before. <laughs> but but see, then the issue is. Uh, Japan will still declare war on China, right? Like, that would still work. Okay, we, we got it. There's no Chinese United Front. So if we had a mutual war, it, it would work. 100%. Alright, um... So now we ignite the Civil War, or, uh, sorry, we, we justify... Much tension have we created? Six point seven percent. That's not enough. Um, who would we want to justify in here? Uh, we could do like Germany and like Germany first, and then that would probably work. So we do that, and then uh, justification on the Philippines. And that would 100% be enough for Britain to uh, guarantee the Philippines. Okay, so we ignite the Civil War. All right. Justifications are still going to be going. Uh, let's get military access with Mongolia. We probably can, uh, we can with the Soviets. Why can we this time? They don't consider us a faction traitor? No, I forgot to leave it again. <laughs> I knew something was fishy. It was too good to be true. <laughs>
All right. Uh, so we'll do we'll do that same thing. Justify war goal. Germany justify on Philippines. Oh, that was significantly longer. Why? Do we have a war goal still going? Is that why? Did I just screw something up? No. How is that 445 days? All right, let's check that out. Why is it so long? What? They didn't have that guy before. How did they have that guy now? <laughs> That's stupid. All right, leave the common turn. All right, then Civil War. Okay, uh, so the enemy Tuva. Yes, they're at war with all those people. So now if we create a faction, what is this? Allied towards Czechoslovakia. What? Oh, we don't have enough world tension. Okay. So world tension only needs to be 40% for to, to get like China. All right, the Chinese United Front. So it was in uh, on May 9th. I, do you guys know, is that RNG? Like when that will start? I'm gonna check my notes. I didn't have anything down there for Chinese United Front. The event chain ends on the 9th. Is that every single time? May 9th, uh, 1937. Or the eighth. Either way, that's fine though, because uh, look how far we are into the next focus. Um, that gives us like four days to create a faction with them. Always. Oh, okay. We're restarting, boys. <laughs> that's epic. Okay. Um, we got to find a way to create more tension then. Uh, but but that's easy. We, we can easily do that. So we can we can snag China out from under everyone. How to pimp China. So this should be doable as like any democratic or any uh any nation really. 
as long as you can create some tension. Like uh, for China, they would only need forty percent to create a faction. Um, we can't see that now, but yeah. All right, so we're gonna do that same thing. The Japanese attack still? Okay. How to pimp China. That's that's the new that's the new exploit now. <laughs> How to pimp China as a, a minor nation. Poor China. They don't deserve this. Oh maybe they do. Uh, order 99. <laughs> it's still gonna have to wait. I'm sorry. Um, once we get China into the faction, I can actually show that though. Once, once Japan attacks China, I can 100% show that. You didn't like Shrek? I like Trek. That's a good movie. Okay, political effort. Just fine. Sinking. We're still going to do that first. And then our second justification will be on... Oh, Shanghai, Shanghai Shrek. <laughs> uh, wait, who would our justification be on? It would be on China. Yeah, it would just be on China. 365 days, that'll work. Uh, like I said, though, we are going to have to increase the world tension a bit more. So we might have to do an actual third justification once we have the political power to do so. Ooh. Oof. <laughs> 146 political power for 730 days. Uh, we might just wait until our, our first justification finishes or something. Here, actually, let's do this again because I, I could have justified earlier on first guys and then it, it would end faster. Once more, once more, once more. Got this. Ching Hai, Ching Hai check. <laughs> He's now Czech, Czechoslovakian. All right, so this time, as soon as we have, what is it, 48 political power, we can just find Sinkiang. It'll save a little bit of time. I, th I think we want to maximize the efficiency here. Oh, 50 political power. Okay. Uh, what's the worst personality trait for generals? Uh, media personality is not very good. Uh, what else? Politically connected isn't great. Uh, they can be a drug ad addict, I think. You hardly ever see that, but I think it's possible. I don't know if that's actually bad or not, though, or if they just added it, if they had just added it in as like flavor text. <sighs> oh, 
go. We'll get that done a little bit faster this way. 20 extra days. Drug abuser, yeah. Yeah, anything that reduces the XP gain or bad. Exactly. Which polit politically connected does uh, reduce the XP gain, I believe. Uh, old guard as well. I, th I think that one does as well. That one at least gives a bonus though too. It gives the the plus one to entrenchment, which is kind of nice. All right. Uh, next justification on China. China. Oh, really? It can evolve into a level that gives you negative one stats? He, like, starts uh, stealing guns and, and selling them. <laughs> you mysteriously lose, like, 200 guns a month. We don't know where they went. He's just, like, uh, he, he's stealing them and, uh, to, to fund his drug habit. Chang Kai Shrek. Um, does anyone know? I think it did say 40% for creating a faction. We need 40% world tension in the world. Anyone, can anyone verify that? I want to make sure that we get enough. Okay, sweet. Thanks, Eli. All right, Democratic Reformer time. So the, the conventional method to do Tanatuva was to, um, to to try to attack Sinkiang and then Zibe Sama or Shangxi, uh, try, trying to get some of these like decent population territories. But in this case, we're just going to create a faction with China and pull manpower from there. So hopefully this will work. I am really hoping this works this time. Cross your fingers. It's going to be even better than India, Pigeon. <laughs> we thought India was amazing. This this will be like 500 manpower. or uh, I, I bet it'll be at max. It'll, it'll probably be like um, 2,500 manpower daily or something insane like that. Chiang Kai Shrek. The problem is going to be like getting China killed. Like who's gonna who's gonna chill, kill China for us? Because Japan can do it, but it, it takes them a long time. Uh, just play as USSR and invade both Mongolia and Tanatuva. Disband the common turn and play as Tanatuvans. Uh, that doesn't really work for the achievement though, because um. You, you have to start as Tanatuba to get the achievement.
Yeah, you're going to oof China with Order 99, hopefully. Yeah, I hope that works. How well do you think that'll work, though, Pigeon? Like, do you think... Is China going to give us, like, 50 divisions and we can just... <laughs> yoink them? That's the question. The British, yeah, the British could uh, deal some damage because they do have the common border here. So if, if we can go to war with uh, the British, yeah, they, they will do some damage to China. I always get the bug where that button, that button doesn't work. Oh, really? Okay. I haven't seen that before. I believe you. I hope that doesn't happen. Okay, we gotta get our troop down there. Go, time to railroad. Go, go, go. Get there faster. We got like one day. All right, we'll just wait for him. It's all right. Slow poke. Considering there's no railroads around there, like anywhere, I guess that was probably record time, so can't complain too much. All right, declare war. And we're going to call in the Soviets once again. Boom, boom, boom. Full speed ahead to the capital and all around. What? You can get level 5 starting generals as India. I didn't know that. As the British Raj, you mean? Or if you can somehow play as India rather than British Raj? Is that what you mean? Ah, they're attacking me. No, stop that. Stop it. Leave me alone. <laughs> Trying to take your capital. They're, they're actually injuring me pretty badly here. <laughs> Ugh, we still got the capital. All right. All right, there we go. Pass, take, submit, and we're good. Got our Tanutuvan extra state. Okay, so now uh, we can do prepare for the Civil War. Let's do that. Uh, if... So we're almost done with that. Our other justification, where are we at? China. 272 out of 365 days. Okay. Uh, if you're going to restart over and over again, wouldn't it make sense to save the moment you get the PP from political effort and then go from there? Yeah, it probably would. You're right. You're right. Um, it would save a little bit of time. I just figured it wasn't that far in. 70 days. It would save some time, though. But hopefully we won't have to keep restarting. Little Commissars is next. Okay, we can ignite the Civil War whenever we're ready now. So, okay, we're, we're getting there. Level 6 for Poland. Poland can get level 6 generals with best of the best. Oh, we don't even need this guy anymore, so... We'll disband him for the Civil War. Oh, it's stealing all the manpower. No, no, no. No garrison. Default law.
I can't believe this was gonna work. I love it. All right, we need to, our justification on, our first justification is done. Uh, you know what? We need to, we need to get justifications done like really fast. This'll work. Uh, we need another like high, high amount of world tension. That one might work okay. Let me see. 29% is the highest so far. I wasn't thinking about it. Like we need to we need to keep uh increasing uh world tension. We need to we need to boost that quickly. Hmm. How much is Germany? 25%. Okay, so United Kingdom is going to be the next best bet. But it's not going up that fast. We do still have a while, though, so I think it'll be okay. We just we need to get up over 40% so that we can create the faction. That's why I did all that. Because if we don't get up over 40%, then we can't actually create the faction. So we need this world tension over 40%. But we still have the whole 70 days for ideological fanaticism as well. So now that we have justified on Britain and the USA, I think we should be good for that. Oh, they guaranteed China. Mm, does that matter? That might matter. Hmm. No, that doesn't matter, right? That's that's actually a good thing, isn't it? Okay. Ideological fanaticism. We still have a ton of PP. <laughs> British join against Japan, so that's not good. So maybe... Uh, no, they won't. That guarantee will disappear. Um, yeah, that guarantee will disappear soon when we do the Civil War. So I think it's okay. Yeah, we, when we create the faction, it will actually disappear, which is good. All right, we have our war goal. Um, that lasts for, what, 60 days? Yeah, I think so. Or 90 days, even. So we need ideological fanaticism. Then we should be good. Let's get a save right here. In a war. We don't have enough tension though, we're we're still gonna be screwed. It's uh, it's gonna be close. I I think we should be good. But it is kinda close. <laughs> Tanutuba and Bhutan tree in twenty twenty four, that's right. We know who the real important players in World War Two were. It's all propaganda that it's other nations.
Okay, there we left the common turn. And we're almost done with this. And we're barely over 40%. We barely made it. Okay. All right, we got that done. Um, I'm going to cancel our current justifications. So on USA and on Britain, cancel both of those. That didn't decrease anything, so we're good there. Uh, we can do a justification now on, who should we even do this on? We could still do it on the Philippines. Um, I guess that's probably the only one we would want to do. Because uh, everyone's going to hate us otherwise. We, we've already generated a decent amount of tension. It, 250 days for that. We could maybe try Albania. Classic. All right. So now we declare war and uh, that's fine. Industrial effort, sure. How many factories do these guys have? Okay, 35. Um, so now we do our civil war. We get military access. No, 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 no. They, uh, that's fine. Who cares? Try not align, they won't hate you about the world tension spike. What? Oh, you haven't done the Civil War. Okay. That would be why. Okay, there we go. We now have an economist in charge. That's good, I guess. It needs to be 50%. Why did that change? Why did that change? That was not the case just a second ago. It, when we looked before, it was 40%, wasn't it? Does China have a modifier? Uh, before gaslighting you over here, didn't you guys see a forty percent? Like, that, there was another nation we checked; it was forty percent. Ah, uh, but but you see, it can work. There's hope. I just I don't have all night. <laughs> I was really hoping this one would work. I mean, I could try again. Was it before you were democratic or something like that? I mean, we we were democratic. We were the same thing. We were still democratic, Tanituva. It's so frustrating. I mean, we are justifying now, but it's only on a couple like low world tension people, so it's not going to be enough. I mean, and we really need it to be fifty percent before this. So we're going to have to restart. That's so frustrating. Uh. All right, a uh, <laughs> I'll get a save when we get the silent work or when we get the 150 PP. I'll get a save this time.
justify on Stalin. What do you mean? I mean, we we couldn't justify five per, or we we couldn't generate five percent world tension there, no matter what we did, uh, because we already had to. Uh, well, actually, we wouldn't be able to justify it all because we were democratic at that point, and you need a hundred percent world tension to be able to justify as a democracy. So that was out of the question. We'll get this. We'll get this. I probably only have like maybe an hour left to play. <laughs> we, we gotta we gotta make it fast now. We're on a time limit. Okay, we can justify on Sinkyong now. Let's do that. Wiki says 40% scumbag wiki. I sh I probably should have just generated more than we thought, but like, I don't know. I don't want to generate too much. All right, there we go. We got the, I will right, we'll get a save here. Even test, uh, political effort. Done. Justification on China. Play as Hawaii. Ugh. I don't want to play as Hawaii. Sounds awful. They actually are releasable then. Never seen anyone do that. Can you create the um, the formable with them? Polynesia or whatever. Yeah, you can get the Polynesia formable without going to war. You'd probably still have to go to war with uh, Japan, wouldn't you? Because Japan's not going to give stuff up for free. Maybe on non-historical they might. But I don't think historical would. Democratic reformer once again. The vacation is 170 days. What's the population in Bhutan? 453k. Ah, oh, 5.62 million in Nepal. It's not bad.
uh won't jo china join the allies now uh why would they join the allies oh because you're saying like basically i see what you're saying i don't think they will um because we, we should be able to create the faction with them before that that uh becomes an option to them because you're saying like they're they're being guaranteed by uh britain so they'll join the allies but I think it would it would still take a day. So as long as we have the fifty percent world tension, that, that shouldn't be able to happen. Balance workhorse and army maneuver. It's almost it's almost time. Our trooper down here. Once again, uh, poor planning. <laughs> we didn't didn't have him there right in time, but it's fine. We have some we have some time. I, I think he's actually right about that. I think they would join the allies if you give them a few days, uh, but we're not, I, ideally we're not going to give them the opportunity to do so. All right. Uh, declare war and call in the Soviets. Right, so we're going to head for the capital and all around. Nepal has a national spirit that's special? What? Oh, they do. <laughs> they get extra special forces. That's funny. I've never seen that before. It's just, it's awful playing in those regions, though. It's, it's just not fun. All right, uh, our justification here is done. So let's do some more justifications. We do need to justify on the United States. And then as soon as we can, we'll justify, I don't think we have enough PP for it just yet. Now we need 30, 34 more, but we'll do another justification on the UK after this. I mean, I guess uh, we could maybe after this leave the faction and then just find the Soviets if that creates more world tension than uh than it would on the UK. Right now we need them in our faction still. Okay, we have enough PP. Six hundred and seventy days. I'm kind of wondering though, like if I shouldn't just just like leave the faction and then uh, justify on the uh, Soviet Union. So I think that would that would give us more world tension than than the UK would. All right, this one next, and we're almost done with this war. There it is. All right, so we got ten points. We got to pass once take this territory and I'm not even going to bother with that here we can try it uh forfeit I'm 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 not going to mess with it not worth it all right we got our one territory that's all that we need we'll change this to no garrison and that way it doesn't steal anything from us stop that unit there we're going to disband it get all of our stuff back and I think we can leave the faction now. We don't need to be in the uh, in the Soviet uh, common turn anymore, do we? I don't think we do. That we got what we wanted. 
So now we can click this prepare for the civil war. We'll do that right now. We had enough democratic support to do that. And let's leave the common turn. All right. Uh, we can instantly ask for military access. Okay, let's do that. Same thing with Mongolia. They didn't consider us a faction trader yet, so that's kind of cool. Um, wait, do they? Oh no, yeah, they 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 do dislike us now. So, all right, uh, just fire war goal. Let's see how much this generates. Thirty-two percent rather than the twenty-eight percent. So that's good. It will it will generate tension slightly faster. So that's worth doing. We're not actually going to finish that. It's just to, uh, just to pop the tensions so that hopefully we can get to up to 50%. That way we can create a faction with China since we found out we do need 50%. And if we have to, we'll do yet another justification on the UK. <laughs> Although it will probably be like 1,200 days or something. 970 days and 194 political power. Wow. Yikes. But I mean, if we need to, we got to do what we got to do. So we'll see. I think because we let's see. Yeah, I think because we still have even once this finishes, we'll still have 70 days uh, of fanatic, uh, ideological fanaticism. And then uh, we should be able to hit that 50 percent. I don't know, should I just do another <laughs> justification? Once this finishes, it'll it'll be slightly slower or yeah, it won't be as expensive. We'll we'll finish this and then um yeah. But yeah, we have that guarantee of China. Let's go ahead and justify. 590 days. We gotta do it though, because we gotta get to 50%. I mean, we, we have like 50 days. I, I hope we can do it. All right, moving up rather quickly. Woo, 50% if they call the UK in. Well, they will call the UK in, but I think we'll just do it at the last second. Um, so as soon as we have ideological fanaticism done, I'm going to let this tick up a little bit more just to make sure that we're good. Let's get 53% and then we'll stop. Okay. All right, so now we're going to cancel... The justifications. It's one, one on the UK, cancel, and one on the United States, cancel. 
go. All right, so now we're going to do some new justifications. I do one on the Philippines. 135 days and I still like the idea of Albania. So let's let's try this out. 355 days. All right. Okay. Now we wait. I'm going to get another save because I'm nervous about this. All right. We have our <laughs> ideological fanaticism done. Let's snag a save real quick. China war. China. All right. So we declare, wait, they pulled the guarantee. Why, why did they pull the guarantee? <gasps> they made the Chinese United Front. They made it earlier this time. How did that happen? So is this RNG then? It's gotta be RNG then. Oh, uh, bad luck. It's just, it's just that it's early. Is it, is it actually bad luck or, or did we miss something? Hmm. Dude, uh, if we load back to, I wonder what happens. Let, let's let's go back to to May first and see if that makes any difference. I I imagine it's gonna do the exact same thing, but I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, here's a question though. If we declare war on them right now, when we had this war goal already, I wonder what will happen. All right, let, let's test this first. If we can, yeah, yeah, if we can like pause it right at the at the second that we finish this. Yeah, because it looks like if I waited too long, that might have been part of the issue. Because we still have the war goal. They're still guaranteed. Um, everything looks correct. <laughs> uh, so this is definitely something you're, you're going to have to pause for, for sure. You still can't form. Yeah, I know that we haven't done our civil war yet, but we got to declare war first. So, declare war. Kenu Tuba declared war on China. And civil war time. All right, we are the Tuva Independent Republic with 8% Democratic support. Oh, we even got a retired officer. Oh, yeah. Fu Zanshan. Create faction. There we are, boys. I <laughs> uh, can't believe this works. We're going with the classic faction name here. Oh, I did forget to uh, justify. Wait, no, 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 I did. I did do it. We're, we're good. What a cursed faction. 
Uh, it's it's beautiful. China is almost capable of assuming leadership of this faction. <laughs> we are the the major. China is the minor, and we are at war with. Or wait, oh yeah, yeah, we're we're at war with the enemy Tanituva. Um, and our allies are in the United Kingdom. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so now we gotta wait for Japan to attack us before we can really do anything else. Chinese United Front forms. Uh, did it though? <laughs> who who formed it? Where is it? Yeah, I think that was a lie. Where where is it? There's no there's no Chinese United Front. That's a lie. No, there there's no Chinese United Front. No no factions. So now um now we're just going to have to see like if Japan will actually still attack. It looks like they're forming up on the border here. Like that's a lot of troops. Uh, China is also setting up for what looks to be a defense. Yeah. Look at me now. I am the United Front. I am the Chinese United Front. I, I could have named it that, actually. Just na name it the Chinese United Front. Wait, you can invite Shang Tsi. What? How? Well, Shang Tsi will get attacked as well. Is that what you're saying? So China is setting up for an attack, but like there's there's nothing. I I don't remember when they actually get attacked normally though. Oh, J Japan will declare war on Shanxi regardless. Interesting. Okay, well that's good to know. Do we have to uh guarantee their independence though? Oh yeah, they have a war goal on Shanxi. Wonder if there's anyone else. Okay. All right, so we got the Chinese war on yeah, July 14th, 1937. So now, uh do do we do we pull troops away right now? What do you think uh Pigeon, Am Sanzana, what do you guys think? They're the ones that know about order 99 and what it does. Do we pull them now? Or do we wait? Because it, typically you only get a limited amount of time to do that. They will recall the troops. So that's why I'm wondering, like, do we do it right now and then let them get an early lead? I think it's probably worth doing. Oh, uh, we do need to recruit a unit to do that, though. So do that right now. Yeah, at least show the stream order 99 for sure. Okay, so we'll, we'll recruit this unit. We got to get, uh, what, 20%? Yeah, we need 20%. Oh. Think see China wants help. What? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta we gotta join the war, of course. Uh okay, okay. We can probably get these guys into the faction. Just I'm gonna get uh military access and then we're gonna do improved work or improved relations as well. And hopefully. They won't join anyone else except us. Japan got the debuff, so does China, I think, so the front might be slow. Okay, let's see what they have. Do they have the the thing that makes them difficult to capitulate, though? Doesn't look like it. 
So I think this should capitulate fairly easily. Once uh, once they start losing some big cities. Okay, okay, okay. Aha! Invite to faction. Here comes Shanksy into our faction. Dude, that's epic. We're gonna have two, like, uh, rather large manpower pools, plus extra factories, too. Okay, join the wars. Oh, what? Wait. Enemies Tanu Tuva. We're already, we're already in that war, aren't we? I don't know what that's about. Okay. Oh, they're joining this this civil war. Okay. They were they were wanting to join that war with us. I see. That's fine. I think. Oh, we can go back to communism if we want to. That's not a good idea. Okay, the Yellow River is going to get blown soon. Japan have has attack, uh, an attack debuff against all of China. Oh wait, pigeon, you're saying they don't like have a don't don't they usually get a like a um doesn't China usually get a buff to uh, their capitulation limit? Like I thought I thought that was a thing. Oh, we can dump our unit out. Yes. Okay, here here comes the Order 99, guys. <clears throat> For anyone that's still been watching. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, we make a front line. Uh, now we're, what we're going to hit... <clears throat> what we're going to hit is request expeditionaries. We're going to take as many troops as each place will give us. So Shanxi will give us three. We'll take it. And now what we do... You say, oh, uh, execute order 99. This is uh, just, we're moving them off the front. Like, we're just pulling back. Uh, we're, we're setting up a more defensible perimeter on the backside of Shanxi. And we can do the same thing with China. So they have a lot of troops. They will give us 24 troops. We'll take it. And now we have a ton of Chinese troops that we need to do something with. This just got way more confusing where all these are. Okay. We're going to pull all of these to the back. If Shanxi capital falls, I'm screwed. Why would I be screwed? Okay, I think that's about all of them. Are there any down here? No, 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 no. Okay. So we're retreating to more defensible positions. That's what we'll say we're doing. A strategic retreat. A strategic withdrawal. Okay. Hmm. So as you can see, it's it's crazy. I, I don't know why, but it seems like the Chinese are losing now. It's strange. Uh, I don't get it. They have all these troops.
Okay. I think we got everything off the line. And uh, this looks like way more defensible terrain over here. I think uh, we want to fight China from here rather than uh, trying to hold them at the border here. Seems a lot smarter. Don't you guys think so? Uh, Sir John Bonet's, uh, I don't think you can actually modify their templates. We, can, we can't do that much. <laughs> oh, interesting thought. I like it. I like your thinking. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, M. Sanzana, thank you. Uh, in in my opinion, you can even draw all their troops in your home. Correct. We can do that. As long as uh, they can hold these border territories just slightly longer, we should be good to do that. That is clever. I like it. Good thinking. Protect the homeland, Order 99. <laughs> uh, yeah. Why are they not moving? I don't know why some of these can't rail railroad. Railroad. Gonna get there as fast as possible. Wait, can only so many units railroad, or is it just the Chinese terrain? It's awful. On what railroads? <laughs> True. I I mean, there's some here. There's more than there are up near Tanatuva. It's like, <laughs> yeah, we might not make it in time. We'll we'll see. We're trying to get there. Go boys, go. If we can hold these two territories for a little bit, it'll be all right. Okay, well, if, if they just need trains, here, let's yoink. There's some trains. If that's the only issue. Uh, that might have been the issue. Because <laughs> now they're moving faster. Let them swim to Vladivostok. Let them eat cake. Okay, we'll we'll hold. It's all right. Uh, this territory might not hold though. Let's try to get some over there. Yeah, I don't think we had any trains, so that very well could have been the issue. All right, we'll get the lion's share up here. I think that'll work. We're going to have to help defend that. It's very important. Old. Old 
the line. No! <laughs> no! Oh, they took it back. Go, boys, go, 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 go. You can do it. Last stand, last stand. Everyone, everyone wants to give us convoys, like a single convoy. Old. Old. A little bit longer. Ah, oh, the escape. We did it. The great escape to Tanutuva. <laughs> How is it that uh, somehow Japan still is struggling? I guess they're doing all right. All right, we did it. Great success. We spirited 27 troops away. <laughs> They're not great, but I mean, all right. If they take the territory again, I think China will be done for. So far, China is at 18% capitulation. Not bad. You can re can you remove mill access so that they get stuck in Tuva? Uh, I mean they're in our faction. I don't think I can do anything like that. Oh, uh, we got a justification done on the Philippines now. And they're guaranteed by France. Interesting. Fran France is in the Allies. Okay. So we can get USA into the allies now as well, if we want to. Uh, I actually don't know if that benefits us much. Hmm. What was our other justification on Albania? That one's got 120 days. And then have another save here. Oh, that puts us at war with the allies. So um, British Raj will be able to move up into the underbelly of China now. So China's going to have to move some troops around. Yeah, see, they're trying to call them back, but, like, can they actually? It, will they actually go back, though? Cause there's no there's no route to go to get back. I honestly don't know how this will work. 
Okay, they they took some back. No, they're still up here. They're they're chilling up here. They're just chilling our in our territory. They can't get out. There's no way out. The way is shut. The dead keep it. USA joins the allies. Good, good. Protecting the homeland. <laughs> Just as we wanted. Alright, let's see. Um, I'm going to check and see if China will give me any more expeditionaries. Nah, they're, they're not... <laughs> They're not a fan of us anymore. <laughs> Wonder why. Strange. We've been so good to them. Let's start training. I mean, I thought oh, this is all mountains there. So it's not a it's not a true border. Okay. That would be why. Uh there's still potential that uh they could get invaded on the coasts. But I think our main hope is just going to be Japan capitulating all these guys. <laughs> China's like not falling for that again. <laughs> you imagine if they had just hit it be another like 30 divisions. Eastern China is getting invaded. Uh, the Australians! The Australians are here. <laughs> we got our first Marines coming in. shanxi has gone! Oh, France is here as well. They're moving up from Fujian. Gallipoli 2.0. All right, that gives us some more factories to play around with. Uh, what do we even want? Artillery? Artillery is always good. Some support equipment. Wow, they give us a lot of factories. All right, let's check this out. Uh, we need to do these speeches. And we can actually do the extraction campaign already. Let's see how much they actually give. Uh, 38 per day with the extraction campaign. Oh, that's with only 55 too. So with the extraction, it's 57 already. So at max, they're going to give about 105 per day, maybe 102 per day, something like that. Not bad at all, really. Oh, I bet. Yeah, I think from the threat... I think from the threat that I've created, if we if we disband the faction once China falls, uh, we can actually create a faction with Zibai Sama. Oh yeah, they're getting mopped up hardcore now. There's just so many fronts. Oh, they got an encirclement. U.S. U.S. cavalry got encircled. <laughs> And we got a exile division from Shanxi. Very nice. Uh, what are we looking at? I might as well just finish that up. Let's get some more destruction efforts. Uh, China's falling. We did get Shanxi as an exile, and we are currently getting sixty-two daily with fifty-eight legitimacy from Shanxi. Oh, there we go. Let's train these guys. Oh, they did. They they pulled their expeditionaries back, but uh, <laughs> not really. They're still here. They are protecting the the Tuvan homelands. So, thank you, China. Thank you for your sacrifice, and thank you, Shengzi, as well.
China, 39% towards capitulation so far. I'm stoked to see them capitulate because it is going to be a stupid amount of manpower daily. Northern Epirus is done. Uh, I mean, could declare war now. Oh, but Gre Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not going to I'm not going to actually declare war. We're not going to use this. Uh in theory, I think we can actually get Italy into our faction. If we're at war with Greece. 125 days when it Oh, no. I don't think we can do it fast enough. No, wait, wait, wait. We can just guarantee Albania. And then I think we can get them into our faction. Like, then we could get um, Albania and Italy into our faction. Potentially. I don't know. Does anyone know if that would work? I feel like it should, but uh, Italy is also fascist. So they probably have some big stuff not to do that with us. Wait, wait, what, what all did that say? <laughs> I didn't even read it. Uh, likely to accept democratic pressure, negative 10. Strategic reasons to be hostile to us. What did we do to you? We didn't do anything to you. Uh, Italy is a major nation. Okay, negative 50. Opinion of the two in Republic, sure. Different ideology, negative 161. Okay, so we would need China to collapse. For this to work, I believe. So the sooner China could co collapse, the the more likely it will be that we can actually get Italy into our faction. Then we can actually create a faction with them. I think. <laughs> this is this the same cavalry that that just got. Uh oh. Okay, we we want to say uh this will blow over. We don't want to do the referendum. And I guess we should probably do something about that. So let's. Oh, there we go. We can do that. Uh, where is it? We're going to need to do anti-communist rights. I should have been doing this already, but it's okay. Uh, we can do this as well. Institute press censorship. And let's do total mobilization. Women in the workforce. All that good stuff. And then as soon as we can, look at our stability. Ouch. We're going to have to do improved work conditions as soon as we can. What year is it? It's yeah, it's uh 1938. What are you talking about? Oh, you're asking about something specific. Yeah, go France, get them. Japan should be pouring all of its troops in here now. Like it's so stupid. Well, I guess uh the supplies are probably not great, so maybe that's what they're trying to avoid. Oh, you're talking about like when Italy joins the um, the Axis. Okay. Sure. Uh, nice. There we go. We got we got some Brits in here. More trapped French troops. They're just getting demolished. We're getting some small wins with with all the losses. Look at, look at all that manpower already. It's glorious. done with that I'm just gonna wait for that to finish that'll bypass and then we can do the research effort or something like that
And how are they not getting wrecked? They like somehow they can still hold the lines. It's crazy. There we go. Time for extra research slot. And what else do we need up here? Do we need anything? We can build forts, supply hubs. Something like that, maybe. I want to get a few extra so that we can actually have supplies whenever we actually go to war. Stability so poor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for the reminder. Uh, we are going to do improved work conditions. We're going to try to improve our stability, but it's not complete trash. We'll do what we can. Uh, China's 72% towards capitulation right now. We're looking good. Our order 99 was quite successful. Oh, oh, check it out. Check it out, pigeon. <laughs> we can get 19 troops. They're falling for the same trap. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to defend the, the interior because we need to fall back. It's important. It's important, guys. Don't question it. Actually, here, let's retreat up there. So, um, I mean, it, that's we need to defend this spot. So we'll retreat up here so they can defend that better. Okay, this guy. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go back there. Bring this guy out. That guy's heading up. Okay, that looks good. I think that that's that's a good idea right there. Good battle plan. Want some commanders? There we go. Oh, we have even more. Let's keep going. That looks good. Make sure we have some commanders available. Hey, okay, they're getting out. Uh, you have XP, why not use in the army spirit? Oh yeah, I should. Uh, let's get relief command. That'll give us some extra XP. Uh, we could do like flexible organization or something. I don't think we need to do anything else though. Oh, they're already calling the expeditionaries back. No. You're going to ruin the fun. Well, we'll get them as far left as we can so that they can't get back in time. I mean, so, so they can defend the interior. That's, that's why.
out. Leave me alone. Actually, yeah, I could. Oh, there. Uh, we just lost the expeditionaries. Bummer. But they're they're all the way over here, so yeah, I don't I don't know if they'll be back in time. Uh, they're at ninety one percent. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. I I thought about that pigeon. Next time you could stack them all on one tile and let them get encircled. Um, my thought though was if they have more troops, I think uh when they capitulate, then more end up coming to my lands. I think I, I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Like I, I don't know what the calculation looks like, but um, that was my hope. Pick Chong King. Do it. Oh, I think that's it. Oh, ninety-seven percent. One more. There's Albania. Hold of arms, we're gonna accept that. Uh I don't think we can get anyone into the faction. Ooh, it's close though. For relations, ask for military access. We'll do both of those. Uh if we can get the non-aggression pact, I think then they will join. They just need to survive long enough for that to work. So we'll do that. Uh it's close. Not quite. No, they're they're gonna they're gonna capitulate, I think. No, Albania, no. Sad. Uh we still might be able to get Italy though. We'll we'll check that soon. Once China collapses. We missed out on having the most powerful nation on earth in our faction. Sad. Okay, we finally have more than two <laughs> slots. I'm stoked about that. <laughs> oh yes they start with legitimacy 100 that is beautiful oh look at that <laughs> i love it that oh, we got more parliamentary speeches all that good stuff to do we're gonna do the chinese extractions campaign that is very important we'll do the expatriate donations from china as well and we're up to 26 factories now. Manpower per day. That's a good question. 1.76k. That's without the 50%. Holy cow. 1.76k per day. <laughs> 2.65k per day from China. <laughs> ah, that's glorious. Glorious. Yeah, you're talking 500 manpower weekly. No way, man. This is where it's at. And we still have these these uh, um, expeditionaries up here as well. 
We have 27 divisions just as expeditionaries from uh, China and Shanxi. Uh, so now if we want to, we can uh, disband the faction and we'll still get the bonuses. That's the, the brilliant thing about this. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, it's glorious. I wonder, okay, so that gave us like four more mills and a few more sieves. Meat shields galore. Exactly. Yeah, I'm thinking what we'll do is just, um, I don't know, either spam guns or like spam a whole bunch of trucks. We don't quite have the research yet, but uh, we'll be getting that soon. And I was thinking about like just spamming trucks and then we move across in the Soviet Union. And I think we can overrun them and just take everything we need like really, really quickly. Um, that was my thought. Two point six five K per day. <laughs> That's epic. Look at all those mills in Tanutuva. <laughs> Alright, so now um yeah, let's see what happens when we disband because we can disband mantle the fact dismantle the faction. Uh, because we only have exile governments in with us. It does say we have other members of your faction name here currently, but it's not, I don't know, it's it's, it's a weird thing. I think this is another uh, kind of glitch or uh, exploit, because like when you look at this dismantle faction, uh, or, or when you look at this here, it says, I think, somewhere... I thought it said somewhere that you can't dismantle a faction except um, if it had like s specific requirements, uh, but I don't see where those actually are here. Not a glitch, it, it's, a, it's a feature. It's a bug, don't report it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, you're sworn to secrecy. <laughs> no, no telling on, on, on. Uh, what we're doing here all right so dismantle uh pigeon this isn't going to screw anything up is it i'm all, I, i'm paranoid about that now like uh since it happened to you earlier like we're a major and we're at war but it, are they gonna join someone when we dismantle yeah good call save Yeah, save, 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 save. <laughs> <clears throat> so long as they don't join another faction. Okay, so. All right, let's dismantle it. Uh, Italy. No, they do not want to join us. That's a shame. Who else could we get? Could we get, like, Belgium or someone like that? I think, we, yeah, we could. Because world tension's high, uh, we just need to improve relations with them. So we could get Netherlands, we could get Belgium, uh, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, Czechoslovakia, Romania. <laughs> uh, who else is democratic at this point? Uh, United States is, but of course we can't do that. Uh, Mexico's not democratic yet. Otherwise, we can get them later. Um, and of course, we have the South American nations. Portugal's not aligned. We can get Ireland. Ireland would be an easy one. Uh, UK can capitulate them super easy too. But of course, France can also uh, kill Belgium really, really easily. The only ones they would have a hard time with, I think, would be like Czechoslovakia. Um, yeah, I don't know who else. I might actually want to do Czechoslovakia soon because... Oh, wait. 
we can't create a faction with them because they're allied towards France. Okay, so we won't be able to do Czechoslovakia anyways. All right. Um, Zbay Sama is an option though because of threat. So we can do that right now. I'm sad about Italy though. That Italy would have been epic. That would have been really cool. But I, I don't think there's any way to overcome that. We would need another war that they're also in. Um, I mean, uh, what about Ethiopia? I mean, technically we're at war with Ethiopia, but it doesn't count. We're on Italy. Like we have a war on 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 Greece too, right? Aren't we at war with Greece? Yeah, we're at war with Greece. So shouldn't that... That should be 200, right? Because we're at war with Ethiopia. Hmm. Oh yeah, the Czechs are going to lose land soon. True. Yeah, I bet they might... Yeah, I think they lose their guarantee, their guarantee from France. So that might allow us to get the, the rump state of Czechoslovakia into our faction. All right, so next, uh, let's go with Belgium next. I'm going to improve relations with them. That will allow us to create a faction with them. All right, but we, okay, we already hit create the faction. There we go. Uh, someone wants to join us now. Oh. These guys want to join back in. Do we want to do that? That That is important, right, Pigeon? I would assume. So they don't join someone else. You could do the Raj, too. Yeah, I mean, we could, but it's, it's kind of overkill. <laughs> like, this is going to be more than enough. There, there's no way we would even need anything else. Uh, Kingdom of Greece joined the Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity Sphere. All right, so now we have a Japan that's at war with Italy, which means they will end up being at war with... <laughs> yeah, this is going to be goofy. Wait, oh. We're... We should be in the same side on two wars now. <gasps> that could be really good. It It only counts as one. Why does it only count as one, though? Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, okay, I see. Yeah. I would have to wait until... or Italy would have to go to war with uh, the Allies somehow. Which might be possible, like, if they try to Yugoslavia thing, but they, they're also going to be joining the Axis somewhat soon, I think. Oh, there's Munich Agreement. Uh, it still says they're allied towards France, so I, I don't think we're going to be able to do anything with these guys, which is a shame. Raj start a civil war. I, it, there's really no reason to. It's like we have more than enough. Like we'll have all the manpower we can ever use. It would just be overkill. It's just for. It would just be for the walls. Which uh, there is some merit to being for the walls, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> All 
I'm just gonna delete our unit. We don't need it. Oh, can I delete? Oh, okay. We can't change the template on this. Oh, there we go. Right. Yep. Exactly. I'm Sinzana. What? What just happened? What? Enemy Tanituva got capitulated. <laughs> Lol. I forgot because we we brought Zebe Sama to our war. I don't think uh, we're not gonna be able to do anything with that. China took one state. Oh no, they're back. No, China's back. <laughs> it's all right. Zebe Sama is gonna uh, collapse, so it's fine. Our civil war is now over, though. Interestingly enough. We're we're still getting uh, manpower from them. It, it's fine. Holy cow! Look at how many troops there are already. This is after like a few months. <laughs> yeah, they're still in exile. It doesn't matter. And, and Japan's pushing. Japan's killing Zebe Sama as we speak. So it's like, it it literally doesn't matter at all. Oh, yeah, I could I could do the I could do the trick on Zebe Sama. That is true. Does it is it really that important? No, probably not. <laughs> but we can. For the lols. We'll do it for the lols. Wait, wait, wait. No no no. Yeah, here's the play. Here's the play right here. We need more troops for for Tuva. We need more troops in Tuva itself. More guns, please. All right, Uva grows in strength. We know. <laughs> All right, let's see. I think we could create a faction with Belgium now once that comes available. If not them, we should be able to do Netherlands. One of the two. Alright, finish off these guys. <laughs> it's taking so long. Oh, our troops are moving back. No, no, no. No, no, no. I forgot to cancel that. The, the, see, the supplies are so bad that Japan can't even move. <laughs> Alright, we need some trucks. I, I, I do think trucks might be the way. We can just quickly move in. Oh, I do need to create an agency too. I forgot about that. It's actually kind of important.
<laughs> yeah, I, I hate sand. <laughs> Best line. Uh, come on. Capitulate them. This is brutal waiting for this. Uh, I think the Chinese fleet was destroyed. Uh, I'm fairly certain it was because we didn't even get the option to, to get it. So it was sunk to the bottom of the sea. Uh... This is very annoying. Yeah, give us more troops, maybe? Oh. We gift wrapped Z base on Ma as much as we could. It's just not enough. Please. Yeah, Japan versus allies and Chinese soil. Ugh. I I kind of regret doing Z base on uh, not gonna lie. <laughs> it's making me regret it. If they if they take this territory and this territory, it's over. But they're they're not gonna do it because they're the AI. Okay. All right. Hit that capital. Good job. Hit this one. Attack. Let's do it. Beta Czechoslovakia. Okay, they got the capital. Are they done? No. 86% towards capitulation. Thankfully, I haven't seen China produce anything yet. That's good. And I think they might have just got a supply out. They did but it's not connected to anything. Come on, Japan. Zog is defiant? Impressive. Does he want to join? Are going to join the allies, I would imagine, if they actually attack? What a boss. Yeah, I'm thoroughly regretting having done Z-Base on Ma. This is not a good choice.
All right, please finish them off. Oh, hey, what's up, Mean? You're catching, uh, <laughs> yeah, kind of the end of this exploit. Um, so check out the manpower we have from China right now. I just woke up. Yeah, I should be going to bed soon, honestly. It's late for me. So with the extraction campaign, 2.68K per day daily exiled veteran manpower growth. Take this last territory. I've just been waiting for forever for Zbay Samada to get capped. And I, I'm really regretting having Okay. On top of a trap. Okay. I, I don't have much time now to, to like get Belgium and Netherlands into the faction. That's really frustrating. Because we need Zbay Samada to collapse. Okay, we can't take any more from them. It's unfortunate. I did order 99 them, Pigeon. It it didn't matter. They're, they're still... Yeah. This is frustrating. Just attack them. It's not hard. It, like, look at these troops. Japan. Okay, well, uh, China's done at least. So we could, um, supplies might be an issue, but, uh, yeah, we built a couple supply hubs already. Okay, let's, let, let's do that. Um, where is it? Yeah, I do still have the save. That's correct. Uh, reorganize the railway system. Let's do it. I, yeah, I could go back. Um, Zbay Sama has just been a nightmare. Like we've wasted a ton of valuable time. All right, let's let's go back to the save. That's that's actually a good idea. That's all the way back in August of 1938. Yeah, you can unite the Turks and you can form Siberia as Tanatuva. Yep. Fighting China is ass since the new supply system. Yeah. <laughs> exactly mean all right <laughs> so this is before we created the faction with zebe sama and before we even deleted our faction as well so we still have the faction with uh china and Chengxi. so instead we are going to improve relations with let's do netherlands and belgium and we're going to have to wait a little bit before dismantling the faction because we will need this to uh, be at a point where, where we can actually do it. China took one state that we need. We don't need that state, I don't think. For Turkestan? You need that state? Oh yeah, I think you're right. Sinkiang is part of it. I, I think those are the extra cores, though. I think, um, if I'm remembering correctly, I think you just need like these lands here. But you get you do get some extra cores like on Sinkiang. I think you're right about that. All right. So yeah, this is gonna work way way better. 
Uh, we have positive relations now, so we should be good. Let's go ahead and dismantle the faction and then create a faction. Should we do? Yeah, let's do Belgium first. We can barely do it. 21 positive to 20 negative. It barely works. But barely works is good enough. We'll get our boys back in the faction. And let's go. Call them to arms. Uh, that's a lot of wars. You can call CSM into war, but you must finish the Civil War yourself. Who's CSM? I don't think my brain's working right now. Oh yeah, they're going to collapse so fast. Look at this. Look at this destruction. We just want this to happen for the, the factories, purely. Oh, we could even do Luxembourg. Luxembourg. <laughs> oh, Zbay Sama, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this this will be pretty much purely for factories. Like, uh, we we just want the uh, exile f uh, factories. We want more sieves and we want more mills. That's all. All right, let's trade some away. Soviets want to have good production efficiency. France having trouble with Belgium. There we go. All right, so now uh, Belgium doesn't have a fleet, do they? I don't think they do. No, no, no. So we'll do both of those speeches. Do that Chinese extraction. Make sure we keep pumping up these numbers. So now dismantle the faction again. <laughs> Here we go. And create a faction with Netherlands. Invite our boys back to the faction. Wait, someone else wants to join? Oh yeah, yeah, Shanxi, of course. All right, next, next victim, ready to go. And uh, let's do Ireland as well. We're up to 25 factories right now. I doubt uh, Belgium actually has much legitimacy. Yeah, they're only at seven, which isn't great, but it's fine. All right, take Amsterdam. It's literally free. Uh, we should be able to get their fleet too if they don't all get sunk, but it's looking like they're all going to get sunk. Or nearly all of them. They're trying to escape troops. Yeah, Belgium has the Congo, but won't last long for sure. Yeah, the uh, Netherlands also has stuff over here, but again, they're going to lose that. They might hold Curacao, but it, it, it or Curacao, but it, it literally doesn't matter. We're just doing these for factories. That's that's all it is. Uh, so Luxembourg is next. And re we can request control of the Dutch Navy as well. Uh, except we're too poor to do it. All right, we're going to cancel this focus. Because <laughs> we, we literally just need PP. Hey, we got ourselves a fleet. It's 11 subs and an actual decent fleet. Light cruisers, heavy cruisers, destroyers. Uh, here's the question though, do we, do we keep this fleet for later? 
we could probably pull like a naval invasion shenanigan. But where from? I guess we're at war with pretty much everyone. So we probably can't do that. The only people we're not at war with right now is pretty much the Soviets. But we can sink it and we will get that manpower. Beautiful. Nine thousand four hundred and fifty manpower. Send them to Curacao. What for though? Like, what? What would be the point? I don't know. I feel like the manpower is going to be better, unless you guys can convince me otherwise. Three. Two, one, bye bye, fleet. Uh, oh, that's these Indies counts, I think. Because they're in the faction and they're not capitulated. So we're going to need them to capitulate as well. It shouldn't take that long though, but uh, still. I doubt the Dutch East Indies is that powerful. British will get their troops over here and curb stomp them. Got the Australians, Czechoslovakians. Is that what that is? Philippines, maybe. I'm going to leave no, uh, no focus for a while. Yeah, I'm I just realized I need to start researching that, so I'm starting down the synthetic oil and all that. Well, it seems to be taking quite a while. Uh, where are they at? Fifty-five percent, and they've lost all this. How is that all? Okay, they lost Batavia. Where 
Hurry up. Finish them off. Wait, is that? That's Greece? Greece is here? <laughs> nice. Got Greece invading the Eastern Islands. I like it. Java's already fallen. Oh, uh, I could have done. I could have done this. I wasn't thinking about it. No, we actually can't. As a puppet, they can only send expedition expeditionary forces to their master. Okay. Oh, good to know. Naval invasion sounds giving me PTSD. Yeah. Uh, we need some more of them, though. If we can get over the 50 factory limit, we will be able to uh, do something. <laughs> do something good. Yeah, we probably should get some rubber. Germany has eight. Okay, let's take it. How are they not capitulated? There we go. Thank you. All right, that's good. Now we have yet another exile government in the Dutch East Indies. And they have an Indonesian Navy. Let's see about getting that. Oh, we got it. It's one single destroyer. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, we can do Luxembourg now. If we have enough relations with them. Actually, not sure if that's enough. It's mental affection. And we're going to create a new faction with Luxembourg. So now we have many people to invite back to our faction. Our list is growing every day. There we go. And they have all of two artillery templates. Uh, two infantry, four artillery. Do other artillery? Is that support artillery, maybe? And then engineers. <sighs> Very nice. I call them to our war immediately. And it looks like uh, France didn't expect the mighty Luxembourgians to re rebel against them. So they have nothing around. We could do Switzerland as well. That's another option. Oh, look at them. They're taking they're taking names. 35 soft attack. All they have to do is walk in and they won't do it. France. Literally. <laughs> You're 
goes Czechoslovakia. France. France bros. What are you doing? Luxembourg too strong. They're afraid of them. They fear the might the might of Luxembourg. Well, they can't even push out a, the single unit, so I mean I guess if they can't do that, then they they couldn't possibly hope to take Luxembourg itself. Oh, is it happening? Uh, the division mechanique. Oh, one of them popped. And two. There it is. Uh, pretty valiant, I must say. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll be known the world over for their for their valiant effort. All right. Amon de Valera. I'm to dismantle the faction yet again. And create new with Ireland. This becomes more tedious every single time. <laughs> to arms. I don't actually know which one of these I need to call them into, but so we'll just say all of them. And will Ireland take Northern Ireland? I don't think so. Oh, they're gonna lose London, Derry. Will they lose Belfast? Don't think so. <laughs> Liberia might be nice too. Yeah, that's another option. I mean, uh, certainly up here would be best first, I think. Uh, Switzerland, definitely. Zog defiant. Most defiant Zog. Uh, it's going to be a stalemate up here for a while until they do a naval invasion, I think. Or until they use planes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. It doesn't have to be that way. Or maybe it does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Some people are resistant, more resistant than others to the... The Order 99 nonsense. All right, let's see how many Chinese we have in our nation now. We have 711,000 Chinese in Anutuba right now, which has 89,000 population. Very impressive. Okay, we should actually start recruiting some units of China. I might just make more of these 18 widths. Uh, we could throw support artillery in, support anti-air maybe. Uh, I don't think we've created any anti-air though. No, we haven't.
What if we have a manpower need? What? what are you talking about? Yeah, the tube in Chinatown go burr. <laughs> Now it's just a matter of getting the guns. It, we really just need more factories. Okay, they're making the push now. Will he joins the German Reich? It's like uh, Greece is about to cap. Oh, is Soviet his um, historical with do annex Tanatuva focus? Yeah, they will do something like that eventually. Uh, I think it's fairly late though. I think it's like 1942 or 1943. I could be wrong. 1941 maybe. It's later regardless. All right. I don't understand why we're losing, like, why, what are we using convoys for? It says trade and supply, but like, what? I, I don't know what, this is over land, it doesn't use convoys, same with the steel. So I have no idea what that is. Who's being supplied? <laughs> All right, take cork. Come on, do it. There we go. Oh man, I bet uh, Indonesia is actually providing quite a bit. The East Indies, 144 daily with only like, what? Uh, you can't even see what that is. It's probably, okay, 45 legitimacy. That's not actually that much. So the fact they're already, and that's 144 without even doing the extraction campaign. That's pretty impressive. All right, once again, dismantle the faction. We can create a faction now with Switzerland. Uh, yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> the strongest France. Yeah, let's call everyone in. Or uh, bring everyone back to the faction. Wait. That wasn't everyone. What happened to China? They don't want to join us anymore? Uh-oh. They would rather be part of the Axis. Uh-oh. I don't know if that's going to be bad for us or not. Shanksy joined the Axis. Do we lose their stuff? No. Uh, we might have lost something. 
I think we lost some of the manpower. China joined the Axis. Uh, well, we're still growing from China. I think we're okay. Yeah, it's still growing. It's all good. Oh! What? How did they just go to... Oh! The... <laughs> China just called them into the war. They were completely not ready for that at all. Um, and we're not at war with... We're not at war with Germany. Hmm. But if the Axis Majors cap, China will be annexed. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. I mean, they're not going to cap for a long time. The only problem I see now is, like, we're kind of stuck with uh, Switzerland for a while until we, until we can actually kick them from the faction. Ooh, the supplies up here. Oh, no. Our allies are having awful supply issues. It's not us. It's just them. Oh, wait. One of our guys has supply issues. Where is he? Oh, what's he doing over here? <laughs> That's probably why they've been trying to supply him. Okay. They've been try using, trying to use convoys now for forever to try to supply that guy. Germany, give us more rubber. I'm going to have to start producing my own rubber. Currently, Soviet Union is just fine on Poland right now. Uh, I could guarantee their independence if we wanted to fight Soviets already. I don't think we're really in a place to do that, though. Look at these Chinese troops. <laughs> Awful supplies. We are recruiting a bunch. Wait, why don't they have manpower? What? Are we having that manpower glitch again? Not enough manpower to train. We certainly have enough manpower of Chinese manpower. That is not an issue. Uh oh, what was that? Italy declared war on Albania. Okay, that's a way for us to go to war with Germany if we want to. Because it looks like we still have them guaranteed. And I think we could get them into our faction, maybe. Should we do it? Should we go to a war with Italy and Germany now? Probably a good idea, right?
But we can't actually get Albania. But uh, now uh, Switzerland can call them to the war with the Axis so they will collapse. Here goes France. What a nightmare world. Okay, there's the war on Poland. And of course, we can't get them into the faction either. Why? Not a line negative 101. Why would that be an issue? I, I don't understand that. We're in a mutual war. It would rather be a part of the allies. Okay. Yeah, whatever. I'm still having issues with uh, the freaking China, Chinese troops to, to deploy them. I don't know what the problem is. Because we 100% have enough manpower. Uh, should we try these ones? Game's like getting glitched out. Oh, so if I'm at war with China, that might be an issue. That shouldn't be an issue because these are these are uh, considered our troops. It, it's the game considers it our troops rather than. I mean, we could, uh, if if that is an issue. Um, We can we could do the Indonesian extraction campaign, and that'll give us something. I have nothing else to build. Just gonna build supply hubs. <laughs> Switzerland's almost dead. Oh, they just outright annex them. Wait, is Germany gonna go to war with the Soviets now? Oh, no, they gave it up. Okay. Okay, we're, we're getting a trickle of manpower. Like, uh, oh, it's Shanxi. It's Shanxi. I'm, I'm being an absolute noob. <laughs> <laughs> it would help if we had the right nation okay this looks way better there we go well uh that still doesn't explain why we're not getting the rest of them but uh we'll see we'll see what happens yeah look at this we're, we're okay oh there we go there we go 
We're fine. We're fine. Yeah. Why, why do we have no troops? Like, oh, well, uh, we should probably actually deploy Chinese manpower then. Wait, yeah, all the, all the Chinese troops are gone now. All those expeditionaries and everything. I wonder where they went. Did they go to Germany? I wonder if they're in Germany now. I, I'm hoping we'll be able to see some of the Chinese troops if, like, since they apparently exited Tenutuba now, um, we no longer have them in our nation. I, I'm guessing they're probably here in Germany or Italy now. Look at look at Switzerland just standing strong, no problem. All right, well, uh, now that we're actually recruiting from the right manpower pool, this should be much better. All right, uh, we have a ton of trucks now too, so we should probably uh, make an actual truck division with China. China. Ooh, I actually kind of like this one. Let's change all of these to trucks. I was kind of hoping to get those guys into our faction, but it's okay. Switzerland is finally about to die. It's impressive. How well they have survived. Okay, let's uh let's do we, we need to do region wide and industrial land appropriation. we go it gives us two more places to build oh we're over 56 we're over 50 factories so we can do these focuses now Yeah, stability still worrying. True. Yeah. Uh, next time I can do group worker conditions, I'll do that again. The, the Swiss will fight to the last man. Uh, once you lose Chinese manpower, if Germany calls them into the war, they actually already did call them into the war, and we still have them. Kind of cool. All right, there's some Swiss manpower. All right, one bad thing is once we do go to war with the Soviets, we're going to be screwed for getting, like, anything from anyone. Uh, so we, we've got to build up everything that we can right now. And we still need a lot of guns, so that's why I'm continuing to improve that.
Uh, hi, Racer Boy 2007. Uh, we are Tanu Tuva. You've missed a lot. <laughs> Yeah, we can get even more than 60 factories, too. Uh, if we do these extraction or expatriate donations, that gives us two factories from each one, doing each of those. I kind of need to save some PP, though, right now. Yeah, we really still need a lot more guns. Is historical AI, AI on? Yes, it is. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I should go to bed, honestly. What time is it? It's almost 2 a.m. All right, I'm going to stop it at 2 a.m. My time. Which means we're not going to actually finish, uh, like, Tainatuva or uh, Turkestan or uh, the Achievement or Siberia, any of that stuff. It's all right, though. I gotta get some sleep. Can't stay up all night. Uh, so yeah, 60 factories, but, but you're also not seeing this. We have almost a million Chinese manpower that we're siphoning. So we're training a bunch of Chinese units as you can see here. And we <laughs> we're building supply hubs everywhere in our nation as well. That's uh, another important part. <laughs> and we have a crap load of experience. So let's uh let's do something. Flexible organization, that'll be good. Uh da, 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 da. I don't know what else we need. Old attacks always kind of nice. Doesn't really matter. I think I'd, I'd rather have some doctrines first. Military theorists, that would be a good idea. Let's do that. Yeah, once we're at war, we're, we're literally not going to uh, get to ha um We're not going to have any resources at all. We'll have the five chromium, and that's it. Yeah, we can get some doctrine. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to get. I mean, we can get this specifically for... Wait, wait, is there one that... It reduces supply consumption, right? That might be a good idea. I think it's in superior firepower, or is it in... No, wait, it's in grand battle plan, I think. There it is. It's only negative 10%, though. Uh, This one might actually be better just for the speed. You get a... How much is it? Plus ten percent. I don't know, man. There's not really any good options. It, we're just gonna be fl fighting in supply hellhole. That's what you gotta think about. Mass assault tuba. <laughs> What a curse. <laughs> That's a blessing. Alright, we got our first synthetic.
Oh, wait, I need to create a faction with someone. So let's let's dismantle this faction. Oh no 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 no! We can't do that. Uh, we gotta improve relations first. Uh, let's do that. Best time is Barbarossa, right? Probably, yeah. We could maybe go in on Finland, but uh, I think Barbarossa is probably going to be a better idea. Just to be sure. All right, when can we get improved worker conditions again? Not yet, sadly. Right, I'm going to do this now. Industrial land appropriation. That way we can build another synthetic. All these Chinese warriors. It's beautiful. A bunch of motorized in there too. <laughs> This is going to be glorious. All right, improved relations with Sweden is done. Get rid of the Swiss. Wait, sorry, uh, uh, dismantle. There we go. Oh, we can't actually do it, but we can guarantee the independence. That puts it up just enough. <laughs> Beautiful. Create a faction. All right, so we're going to call Sweden into that war right away. That way Germany can start destroying them for us. I mean, I feel like we should be able to form Siberia when the time comes. Wait, they're not at war with Germany, are they? Oh yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. in the axis uh, forming Siberia will open a wide uh, coastline
Oh man, look at all these factories. Oh, Soviet Union declared war in Finland? Is that were they guaranteed? No. All right, so let's take stock here. I am going to need to get off here. Uh, unfortunately, I would like to keep playing, but um, I do need to go to bed and get some sleep. Um, so we'll, we'll have to play this some more another time. But as you can see here, we have over a million Chinese currently, and that's even with uh, a significant amount of Chinese in the field right now. So each of these is what 18 width with support artillery. And then each of these is like an eight width of motorized, just motorized. Uh, my idea is to just quickly move across and into uh, the whole East of the Soviet Union, and then hopefully be able to push into the uh, Mongolia as well. We do have a lot of supply hubs, so we should be pretty good on supply, at least nearby. Uh, it is still, it is still difficult to push. Uh, but we'll do the best that we can. Um, yeah, but it's it's just too late for this right now. I'm going to have to... Uh, we'll wait for Barbarossa next time, and uh, then we should be able to push. And uh, definitely that'll draw a lot of the Soviets here into the West. And then uh, what they'll have in the East will just be kind of a token force, and we should be able to just push out and and really cripple the Soviet Union. So yeah, um, thanks everyone for watching this and uh, for sticking around and hanging around with me when it, uh, we, we tried things so many times and it kept failing, kept failing. We finally got a good run and this I think is going to be a really, really strong um, strategy. So I, I, th I think this will be good definitely to get the achievement for sure. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me, guys, and uh, for being a great chat. And, yeah, I'll see you guys again sometime soon. Bye-bye.